Yeah. Sometimes I get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad, I'm like, I might grab a bat. I don't know my wrath, my blood boils over like. Oh God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go. So just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So have you ever felt betrayed? Switch is how you see things. Realize something needs change. Cause I know you got me f***ed up. Let me show you what's up. Cause enough is enough. I'll take a face full of DJ Electrify here. So my story doesn't start with Once Upon a Time, and I don't know if it has a happy ending. But here's what I do know about how I got here. And I'm so glad I did. Life has a funny way of making amazing things happen when you least expect it. I started out as a nurse, and I retired due to an injury. So I got a radio show on Midnight Radio. It was called Electro Ladyland. And then I met Wendy through some true crime friends. And one night we were watching Tukey, and he had Hackright on as a guest. So of course I subscribed. I thought he was hilarious. And then I decided to ask Hackride if he would promote my show on his show, if I promoted his show on my show, and he said no. But that didn't stop me. I kept bugging him. And he never did say yes to promoting my show. But he did offer me a show on his channel. And so I said yes. And I'm so glad I did, because now we have Puzzle Box and Catch-22, and I got to do Hack Rider Radio. So there's no happy ending yet, because it's not ending anytime soon. This is just the beginning. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Hello, DJ Electrify here. <laughs> Welcome to episode 14 of Catch 22. Who knew? I had no idea I'd still have a show. We have a show. Casey, are you here? I am here. Happy 14th. <laughs> <laughs> to do. I'll turn it down. How's it going? I heard you got caught with a big black uh, root in your mouth yesterday. And I'm not talking about the band from The Tonight Show. <laughs> oh. You hit me with a double. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, as many of you know, I've been going through a journey of self-discovery through pain. And uh, yesterday, one of <clears throat> uh, the journeys ended. Uh, there's still a little going on, but... Uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'll take that off the screen for you. I'm actually uh, coming back to normal. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna take. You just said I had a black root in my mouth. I'm just catching up to your fucking joke. A Sorry. big black root. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> how long did it Deep take? Deep in your mouth. Okay, so how long did it take? How many hours did you spend on these jokes? <laughs> I think I just woke up with it in my head. Right. Oh, you woke up with the big black thing in your head? Oh, hey. <laughs> Big black root in your head. See, that's how quick it was. See, I'm almost back, folks. I'm on. But yes, uh, so I, I hate to do this. <clears throat> I hate it more than anything, but I have to give some credit to the, why am I not on the screen? To the U USC School of Dentistry. So, USC, go uh, Trojans, except their football team. Fuck them. Yeah, screw the football team. But their dentistry school, amazing. Uh, amazing, but uh, there is uh, one person I would like to single out. Uh, real quick and take 10 seconds to and it's uh, not who you think it is uh, it's DJ Electra that's right folks oh. uh, when I was in this pain for these last few weeks uh, I only really had one person to call who would listen to me because everyone else was sick of it and DJ Electra took the call and uh, <laughs> she really helped me get through this um, I owe her immensely and I just want to say uh, thank you publicly that you are mm -hmm. not only an amazing talent, and I am also amazing for seeing you, but and spotting you, and, and picking this diamond out of this particular rough because my God, what a diamond! But like that intro, 
was amazing. I think there was some skipping, uh, whatever. But uh, yeah. the art and stuff, like it's amazing. Something's up with your computer. Uh, that that that's what I've, I've got to be my computer. It's your computer. So we may have some issues tonight on some videos, but that's okay because it's probably my fault. Uh, but <laughs> uh, DJ Electrify is a friend uh, that you would love to have. She's my she's my best friend. I can say that now. She was in the foxhole with me when I was getting hit in the head with a hammer of pain, and she never wavered. And never thought about herself, even though she's also going through pain all the time, you know, because we're old. And that's what <laughs> happens when you get old, folks. So I guess the lesson here is getting old is only for the brave. What does that sound? What does that sound? Oh, my God. <laughs> DJ Electra, I had to mute you. Hold on. Hold on. There, okay. There's a sound that sounds like the aliens are intruding. <laughs> Uh, the aliens are intruding the feed so uh reset your mic i don't know if you can hear it. it's like a big ding, ding, ding. all right there goes dj electra all right hey everyone yeah uh, sorry andrea uh she's having issues and the aliens i think the aliens have caught on to what we're doing over here and so you know they uh you know, they're sending a feed like that. But yeah, that's why we were, uh, 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 yeah, that's exactly what it sounded like. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I can't get away from it. All right, everyone, cross your fingers. I'm going to let her put herself back on stage, and we're going to see if we all put, pull the ear, pull everyone pull the headphones away from the ears. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. What the heck was that? <laughs> it sounded like, be a friend. Hold on. Uh, had a dental drilling. That's exactly what that was. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, damn. Sorry, everyone. So sorry. I apologize. Yes, we implanted you all now. You all serve us. <laughs> wow. So sorry. I don't know what that was. It sounded like the emergency broadcast system or something. Uh, we, yeah, we, we, uh, now that you're ours, you will do our bidding. And that <laughs> is to make sure you go to, guess what, folks? Hey, I got something for you. There it is. Go to DJElectrify.com. That's right. Bitch got her own link tree. And I, mean I got that, my yeah. own website. Well, it's yes. a link tree, but still, yes. my own D web address. DJElectrify.com, HackRideTheDemon.com, BlindMike.net. These are all the websites you need to know in the world. That's it. That's all. All right. Uh, I'm going to get out of here and let you do your show. And if that sound comes on again, I will probably jump out the window. You could just stay in here. You sure yes you're yeah. you're my producer you do the show with me okay but I you're do more feel than like... a producer you're a co-host no i feel like this is your show i feel like we if i'm gonna stay we need to do something you know we need it a little there we go what yeah. hold on there we go don't do that Get... no no come see, on see, you're no you're more you're more important and i also don't you're know how to so fix it now <laughs> Yes, you do. No, I need to be minimized. My, I'm in the back. No, stop it. <laughs> I know how to fix it. Stop it. <laughs> All right, you get in the fucking room then. All right, hey everyone. All right. How's it? No, see, she's okay with getting in the room. Women empowerment. Stop it. You just get over here and introduce your stuff, and I'm in the background making jokes. Doo -doo. All go. right. Okay. <laughs> God, you're annoying. Can you get your tooth pain back? Maybe. No, never mind. Oh, just kidding. Uh, oh, oh, don't worry. Uh, when the <laughs> he looked at the chart and he's like um we have to pick and they literally had like four because the infection was under four and he's like we're gonna go with number two we rolled the dice so we're going number two like a whole faculty room sit around and goes all right we're going number two opened up number two and they said it was like black death they've never seen anything like that before so yay for them oh my god so you're gonna be like a textbook case huh they're gonna probably present you in their classes you're gonna be on their books forever it's a problem with going to, uh, uh, you know, school dental places. There's a lot of pictures that are taken. And there's, I don't remember signing anything, but there they are. <laughs> <laughs> pictures of your black root in your mouth. Awesome. So it's documented. <laughs> <laughs> Send that goddamn emergency signal right, again, right up her ears again, please. <laughs> so I've been missing football. Do you miss football? Oh, are you kidding me? Are, did you really just say that to me? I know. That's not even a real question. That was rhetorical. Of course, he misses football. I mean, hold on one second. I'm almost there. Yeah, like you asked and I almost have it. Like if you would have let me know that's actually where you were going, I would have had this ready. 
but 143 days took college football. <laughs> 15 <laughs> hours, 45 minutes, and 44 seconds. Not that anyone's counting. <laughs> Not at all. No, and everyone, go awesome. get this and put it on your computer because you just I just stared at it for three days, and I'm like, oh, it's getting closer. It was. I remember when it was 220. It's getting so close. 143. That's like half a year. That's okay. Not, like, not quite half almost, a year. It's almost been a whole minute since we watched. It's coming. It's coming back. But we have all summer to go still. Don't talk to me about that. I just watched oh. that screen. I don't care what days they are. It's just 143. When you're in prison, you don't count summers and winters. You just look at the number of days left. Yeah. Well, anyways, I made some clips about <laughs> <Yeah>. sports. <laughs> We were really out of practice, folks. <laughs> yeah. I know. What's going on with me today? I'm just yeah. failing. You're not failing. You're awesome. Two, she was supporting a grown man on her back for a very long time, so now she's tired. <laughs> it's, it's, this is uh, On my back? Well, you carried me. You see what I'm saying? Is this the fear chips and clips? <laughs> no, this is the sports chips and clips. Oh, why is the sports chips and clips? All right. Hold on one second. <laughs> here it is yay oh my god all right so yeah if... so just some sports stuff and it's not all football related but <laughs> don't do that <laughs> let's watch it anyway don't do what oh i thought you made it two person stop it don't do that <laughs> <laughs> i like looking at your ass your tit i already have examined your tits enough <laughs> You press play and stop. What's up? I say you control. Oh, Savannah Bananas. I love the Savannah yeah. Bananas. We're going to throw some Savannah Bananas in there. Will it hit the corner? Remember from Puzzle Box season, Series 1? I do. I stole that from the office. Who that stole thing it drove me nuts the whole time. <laughs> I was like, is it going to hit the corner? When's it going to hit the corner? And then every time it hit the corner and you would bring it up, I would have missed it. It was, or hack ride would bring it up it drove me crazy yeah, yeah don't uh the lesson there is don't put anything on the screen if you have adhd because you just every time it does it it's gonna you're gonna hyper focus on it so, yeah but it's also kind of fun <laughs> so i was gonna try to find a clip from puzzle Bex series one but i didn't find one where it hit the corner no, but never, the savannah never, bananas never. let's see if they hit the corner <laughs> hold on i think okay so if people are just tuning in and have never seen the savannah bananas before they are a minor league baseball team but but like a harlem globetrotter -like yeah they're like team. an exposition team uh yeah exposition i don't think that's Expo. the right word <laughs> i think it is expo i think it is <laughs> No, I don't. No, it's a. Uh, God damn it! You said exposition does. It's not an exposition team. It's a. Uh, it's a team that plays in exhibitions. It's exhibition. Exhi Thank yes. you. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you got big black uh, root on the brain. Hey. -o. <laughs> oh, it's laying God. on your head. Uh, so these guys uh, are awesome. Savannah, Georgia, right? Is that where they're located? I think yeah, a, Savannah, Georgia. They they're the Savannah Bananas. And they do, they sing during their and dance during their games and do all these kind of weird pranks like this right here is during one of their games. It's literally the Globetrotters of, of baseball, but it's somehow funnier and better than the Globetrotters. It's amazing. I really want to go see them. Yeah. Yeah. They're playing in Sacramento this year, but not close to us. So, uh, yeah, that's, but this is like the future of, to me, this is like the future of sports entertainment combination. If you're not going to go and get like the best, the peak, the peak, let's go and have some fun. Have some yeah. drinks, you know, bring some friends. Exactly. Oh, I could hit play. He's <laughs> 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 still going. Amazing. Oh, the guy hit it. Well, I think that's the crazy thing about it is it's 
when they play the game, it's actual baseball, so they can lose. They can like they. It's not the Globetrotters in that way. It's actual game when they do the. You know, after they throw the three on fire balls at your face, if you hit one, they give you a base hit. Like, yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> and they do trick plays all the time. It's really cool. And they screw up some of them, <laughs> which is part of, of the fun. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know, one time this guy was wearing a glove that was a kid sized glove, and he Triggers. tried just. He tried to grab the ball. He actually did catch the ball, though, in this little kid-sized glove. He's like, no balls have come to my side of the field all game. And then, of course, he puts the kid-sized glove on. Ball comes to him. (laughs) So, anyway, I have some more Savannah Bananas after this, but we'll take a little break here. Something else. Oh, games with names. Okay, Julian, Julian Tom. Okay, so this has to be Patriots. Okay. Yeah, this is Julian Edelman from the Patriots, and this God, is podcast know, Games with you know, Names. You know your goddamn demographic. Day after blind mics on. Compton and everything. Oh, we back? Yeah. That was weird. I froze up on that one. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, hey. Good, uh, good on you, Northeast. Do you like the Patriots? Are you a Patriot fan? I, I was, and then I got really sick of Tom Brady and just sick of him winning, sick of them winning. And uh, so, no. Okay. I'm not a Patriots fan anymore. Well, now, now, now you're not doing a good job with our <laughs> base of fans. You should have stopped that right now. Stop talking. <laughs> we love New England. I mean, they're, they're cool. And Tom fuck Brady's the not with them anymore. Oh, and- oh, but fuck the Red Sox. Oh, God, fuck the Red Sox. <laughs> Stupid sports. All right, so let's see what he has got to say to Tom Brady, who has my same birthday. Only guy that could really give it to Tom, right? You know, we all kind of wanted to give it to Tom sometimes. If he did something goofy, we're like, ah, oh, it's Tom, I can't say anything. This guy. You're too old. You're too old. We go, like, <laughs> getting on Tom, killing him in front of the guys. And we're all like trying to muffle our laughs. But you could tell Tom, like, you know, he was flustered. He was flustered. So, but I, I'll say this. If you go back and you talk to all those guys that play with Julian, they'll all tell you they respected him. I love that. Oh. You're too old. <laughs> <laughs> I yelled that at, at Tom Brady through the TV a, f- a couple times. So. I th- I think famously Dan Levitard, who's a, a, a Miami sports show guy, says like, yeah, uh, Tom Brady is on like the downslope of his career 10 years before he quit. <laughs> like right? everyone, everyone thought he was done 10 years before he was done. But he, he was wins, like, still winning. He couldn't yeah. stop. <laughs> it's like a gambling yeah. addiction or something. Yeah, you know, must he be just a couldn't high... stop. Yeah. And then you go to a different team in a warm city state, you no know, tax and you fucking win another one. And you yeah. throw the title from one boat to another, like in a glorious parade. And like a life is good, you know? So, yep. Uh, and he got away from uh, Belichick and could prove that it wasn't Belichick that was winning. It was, it was him. <laughs> even better. He got away from Bunchin. And uh, from what I've seen, he's been winning ever since. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. Bunchin. What a weird name. So, this one is How to Blend into a Crowd. <laughs> When this guy got kicked out of a baseball game, he pulled off a 300 IQ move. Because as soon as the cop looked away, he quickly took off his hat and sat in the crowd blending in perfectly. And it actually worked as he got to enjoy the rest of the game completely unnoticed. (laughs) That was smart, right? I mean, they have a... They have a saying out here in uh, Los Angeles. Uh-huh. Uh, I was told when I lived with a bunch of um, uh, El Salvadorian gangsters in Inglewood when I first moved to L.A. Okay. Uh, don't ask. Uh, they say, when you mess with the bean, man, you get the burrito. And that seemed very much like a bean burrito situation <laughs> where it's just like, hey, bro, get over here. <laughs> You're wearing our uniform. Sit down. We got you. So listen, yeah. if, that was a, if that was a duck fan, same deal. You know, I would have blended right in with him, too. And like. Like, no, he's been here the whole time. I'll tell you one thing that would have made it better is that the cop walks. He he, he notices a mistake, turns around and walks, sees the color of the guy's shirt, walks towards him. And then yeah. all of a sudden, the other guy that was next to him just starts kissing him. Because <laughs> <laughs> then the cop's like, even if that is him, fuck it. <laughs> I don't, they don't pay me enough. 
Yeah, he'd be like, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> so here's some basketball. Just a real quick one. Yeah, yes. Tom Brady is my birthday twin. Woo! Congratulations. Not a bad birthday twin to have. No, where are your uh, titles and trophies? Uh, <laughs> sure puts a whole wrench in that uh, fucking horoscope thing, right? All right, anyway, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Not believing the horoscope. World record, max vertical jump. Watch what? this guy. Look at this. What? It's insane. Oh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's you got to show me that again. Okay. Hold on, you got to show me that again. Now this is good because now you have to. Okay, right there, perfect. What the fuck? How many in, did they did they say how many inches it was? It, it doesn't like... say, but it's look how far. It's like a foot above the back board. Is that what that's called? That's like a 60 inch vertical leap. Yeah. Because he's that guy that's standing there, he jumps to the top of his head. Yeah. Look where the bottom of his feet are uh, relative to the top of the guy's head. So, so, play and then pause again if you can. Watch this. There you go. Right here. That's the peak right there. Pause. Oh! All right. Oh. Uh, well, I'm just saying his feet <laughs> was at the guy's neck. If that guy's like, you know, let's say that guy's six feet tall, or just average tall, he's bending down a little. So maybe he's like, you know five eight mm -hmm. and he got to the bottom of says five feet that's what i'm saying he jumped five feet that's 60 inches that's a 60 inch vertical leap that's Jesus. crazy yeah look at my math he's got hops hey hey what that's not i heard it from they i'm just repeating what i said if that's what you're talking about are you talking about the jumping i don't know what he's talking about <laughs> so many things the jumping yeah. bean <laughs> oh well yes dj electrify this that's what he was talking about yeah i said it <laughs> yes he, he's a he's one of those future police from like that tom cruise movie he knew you were going to say something offensive in 10 <laughs> seconds and got ahead of it so now and it's funny i wasn't even thinking any of that until granny brought up clearly racism <laughs> whatever all right you got some more bananas yes right, this is where it gets them. really good oh the guy's saying in the crowd <laughs> dating oh. now. This is a love story you're showing me. Yeah. Are you sure they weren't dating before that? Well, I don't know, because he kissed her cheek, and so I'm not 100% sure that they weren't dating yeah, before the that. The way he touched her on the way, that, that's someone that knows. You don't just sexually assault someone because they paid for a baseball ticket. Come on. Uh, right. So I don't think that they were strangers at that point, but they are dating now. Well, For yeah, sure. so like th maybe this is first. Uh, I would like to think now this is a first date. That is a play a ball a move. It is. First and date. like her so, mom is right next to her or aunts right. or something. Well, family members. It's small town shit, right? And so and small town yeah. shit. Yeah. So let's let's watch again now, knowing that it's most likely a first date, because that's how we're going to categorize it. OK, I'm rewinding. Here we go. Know she's got the holes in the pants to let the liquid out of them, you know. It's a lot of <laughs> it so it's it's um Emily Harrigan and Noah Bridges. He's the baseball player for the Savannah Bananas. That's and so Emily Harrigan is a um division one soccer player from Rutgers. If you told me these two won like the Grammys at the Country Music Awards or something, I'd be like, Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Basically no that's who they are. I just found her randomly on my stupid algorithm and i was like oh that's so cute <laughs> hold on dj electrify i think they busted you oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes. they got you. it is okay we haven't heard the poo song in a while it's an embarrassing one <laughs> that one is amazing <laughs> that might be our best that might be our best fucking work ever <laughs> maybe we'll play it tonight <laughs> Okay, I'll write it down. All right, uh, go ahead. So, so, what? So, so you know, I mean, like that's you at the baseball game on a first date. They make a whole scene with your mom like that. Like even mom's like, you better give some toppy tonight. Like what? What's the, <laughs> what's the conversation there with mom? Ah, uh, her conversation with her mom. Or, or your. Um, they were probably like, oh my god, he's so cute. He looks like, you know, a supermodel. He looks like a movie star. Right, right. 
You think mom's giving some like banana advice, if you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <From the, laughs> Savannah <some> bananas. <laughs> hey oh. Yes, probably. <laughs> this is how you peel him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's slowly coming back. Oh, that's All right, good. press play. I'm, it's I'm good to have this. you back. I like soccer players. All right. <laughs> okay, well, we didn't, we didn't see that. <laughs> we did, though. Yeah, their only fans would make billions. Mm-hmm. Very good with balls. Great with the balls. And apparently he's the dancer in the couple. <laughs> so he makes her dance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a DJ Electrify situation here. <laughs> we got a dancing daddy. Yes. Do, you're spending all your time dancing with your girl on video at home. Yeah. That What's wrong with that? Like, that just doesn't sound like anything any guy I know would do. I mean, well, I didn't he's see from it. the South. He's from see... Georgia. He likes dance, country dancing, line dancing, all that. I didn't see any sandwiches being made in that video. None. <laughs> <laughs> just dancing with a girl. Come on. Any sandwiches. All right, we're back to these two. Back to New England football. Nice. Yep, back to football. So this is Andrew oh, well, Whitworth and, with yeah. Julian Edelman on well, Kings Whitworth with is Ames. in New England. Yeah, Whitworth played for the Rams, so he's a big right. dude. Right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. He's not two, from the Patriots. Two, two things I know about him. He played for the Rams. He's a big dude. All right, here we go. He's big. He's a, he's, yeah. He's funny, too. He's funny. He's offensive lineman. He's very funny. Why is he so offensive to you? What did he say that hurt you? No, he's an offensive lineman. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta be careful where you put that up. Here we go. Not an offensive offense. O line room's hottest room in their whole entire building. Disgusting. Just big fellas in there, just oozing. You know, oozing. 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 When you're a big Ooh. fella, like your feet don't fit on the stairs. How big is your your foot? I'm a 17, so you, know you can't like. Hey, not much. Listen. <laughs> February 3rd, 2022. <laughs> SoFi Stadium, Inglewood, California. We're family. You know hey, what the best part about the day is? Yeah. All we got to do is be us. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. The Rams are trailing the Bengals 20 to 16 late in the fourth quarter. With the ball on the one-yard line, Stafford drops back. He looks for Cooper Cup. It's caught by Cooper Cup. This Woo. is Super Bowl 56. Cool. So anyway, watch his podcast. I thought I'd leave that up for a little commercial for games with names. I like it. I but I really like sports. So if you like sports, you're gonna like his podcast. That's awesome. I will put that one on my list. I gotta I gotta make you watch Levitard. I think you would like Levitard. I, I would. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah I just no don't likes. like his name. <laughs> well, it means the bastard in Spanish, which is funny. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Dan the bastard. <laughs> I've never heard that word in Spanish. Yeah. No, it's a, he's actually probably like uh, behind Stern, my second favorite broadcaster of all time. Down okay. Down. Yeah, he's uh, like he decided to be in a niche mark in a niche market, which is like sports, but go no, we're gonna do everything in sports. And so like people, a lot of people don't get it. A lot of people, it's sort of like, you know, too goofy, too uh, world wrestling or whatever. But it really is kind of what the internet now is kind of becoming. He saw he saw it coming a long time ago, and when he moved from ESPN to do his own thing he really sort of like uh you know foresaw a lot of this and his own channel is great and they're doing amazing and you know they got to deal with like you know draft duel or something or a uh, draft kings or one of those you know where they're like you know in with the billionaires so they're good to go but that sh the show is amazing nice all yeah, right well shows. i wrote it down i'm gonna i'm gonna watch it all right well thank you and that was so uh, should we do um dating in the 80s next or more clips about my fears um i feel like it's dating time dating's always fun 
Yeah. Uh, so you found some more dating clips? Is that what you, I don't? I literally mm-hmm. know as much as you guys this week, people. I was uh, incapacitated for most of the time here. So this is some dating in the '80s, is what it's called. So let's see what we got, DJ Electrify. Yep, dating in the '80s. That's what it is. Oh wait a second, what is that? What is that? <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> what does dates for Casey mean? Oh, so you're gonna? Oh, I see what you're doing. You're gonna m- mimic. Okay, Hot babe. Okay. You did officially send me a, a topless picture today, but all right. Not of me, though. <laughs> what, and it was you... AI generated of somebody else. Why'd you have to ruin it? We could have just <laughs> left it right there. There's Carrie. Okay. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Look at that uh, dress. Is, She's so little this, house on the prairie. Don't you like that? I bet she makes good sandwiches. Well, the problem with this, Carrie, is this is post-menstrual blood being dropped on her from above on stage, <laughs> Carrie. I would like pre-menstrual blood being dropped on her stage, Carrie. This clearly happened to her already. Uh, She's very angry. Oh, God. What did you... Uh, but I mean, she, her eyes tell you that she's probably pretty good in the sack. So yeah, got. she's got those crazy eyes. Did you get it? Oh, no. I'm Carrie. I'm a receptionist and I'm looking for a serious man who takes life seriously. And to show for it and will be a provider for me and my sister. My best qualities would have to be, I love to dance. I could dance all day, dance all night. <laughs> My celebrity crush is Lou Diamond Phillips. That's stupid. I don't want a man with cancer or heart disease. This can't or be real. Disability. It's gotta be satire. But this um, has to be real. Speech impediments. My most attractive trait is not my feet. <laughs> I'm this most afraid of not having enough iron in my blood. <laughs> the most romantic thing I've ever done was I got a, um, a poster framed of a hot air balloon, and I gave it to my brother. All no, of you serious no, fellows no, out no. there, um, <laughs> I want to get married. My sister wants me to get married. Um, my animals want me to get married. My music boxes want me to get married. So it's time. Okay, well, the other two are for sure real. Okay. That the way you know is like every line is comedic. There is no yeah. way a person is except I'm gonna show you a guy later that's like that. But uh yes. So they've done this thing now too, because I've been watching and looking at these for these eighties videos where there's a whole YouTube lane of people making like making parodies of these. There's okay. Thousands of parodies of these eighties videos. It's crazy. That's and kind I of think, amazing. Cause it I looks think... so old. It just looked so old. I was like, I think it's real. <laughs> And they got the little list here coming up. Yeah, well, uh, her, her little ad. All right, folks, make sure it's a BZ210. That's BZ210, not 211. That will ruin your life. 210 is the one you want. She's yep. a seamstress. 12 She's miles from Glendale. away. Times married, zero, children, zero, and box knives, 10. Yes, you're going to want to stay away from her when she's got the box knife. But she's only 180 pounds, so most of the time you can just put your hand out on her forehead and it'll keep her away. She'll 108 slice pounds. Oh, what did I say, 110? 180. Oh, no. I'm still, I'm still coming down off the drugs. <laughs> um, what, what is her religion? Est? What's Est. Est. What's that? Estimated... Hmm. Uh, no, hold on. Uh, what were they called? Is Zeke? No, uh, I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, but Carrie, yes, frightening. She likes music boxes a lot. That's the second time I've seen that. Apparently, really she does. That's a little scary, too. Right. Like, yeah, it seems just like something you could be stuffed in. Let's stay away from Carrie, <laughs> unless the other two are scary. Hey, hey, here we go. Scary <laughs> Carrie. And I bet that's not the first time she heard that. <laughs> Her dog's cute. Uh, by the way, a distance 12 miles that's the only how, as long as she's willing to go oh that's just i was gonna say how in the 80s did they know how far away they were but that's, that's there were she's maps willing, she's really okay this is real <laughs> the trinity is trinidad is real okay, <laughs> trinita. <laughs> this trinita. is real yeah, trinita yes i'm just looking for somebody to have fun with that's it 
Um, I'm not into having a long-term <laughs> Job relationship, in it. and I don't want to get married <laughs> right? again ever. Well, my profession is that I don't work, okay, and I love it because I get to take advantage of so many things, and work sucks. <laughs> my <laughs> nickname is number one because I'm always the first person in line for everything. <laughs> my main thing is going to see free movies because I love movies, and why should I pay for something that I don't have to? My idea of hell She's thrifty. Is, I like it. <laughs> mm, that there wouldn't be any more freebies in town. <laughs> <laughs> that voice oh, is damn. Amazing. My idea of heaven would be to go out with as many hot guys as possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that voice is possible. My best achievement is I made the Dean's List in 1979 at Temple University. <laughs> I want to do um, voiceovers. I've been on the I knew her voice. quite a bit, but I want to do it like as a part-time thing. Not to make money, but because I love hearing myself on the radio. Oh, we got to find Trinita. If romance was like food, I'm a glutton because I am always hungry. And I'm hungry right now. <laughs> if you closed your fucking <laughs> eyes, hold on. Everyone do this with me. Close your eyes and listen to this. And tell me this isn't like... A, a, a white Jersey girl with curly black hair, Italian, smoking a cigarette on the back porch. If romance was like food, I'm a glutton because I am always hungry. And I'm hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mob wife. And then you open your eyes and you're like, what? <laughs> I love to eat. <laughs> Dream day. Guys you're right. Wild and crazy like myself. Nobody laid back. Somebody that likes to have fun. The worst thing that could happen on a date is that the guy is laid back and he doesn't, he's just not fun, okay? Because laid back, I mean, I don't have anything against laid back people, but they're just not fun. If I were to commit a crime, it would be a white collar crime <laughs> because um, <laughs> a white collar crime is cool because you have to be smart to do that kind of stuff. Oh, dang. If I was in the witness protection program, I would move to Denmark because oh. they have the best. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dating on demand. Uh, your questions are getting a little off track. <laughs> they have some good questions, though. I like them. Well, I mean, this is good <laughs> for me, like to, to, you know, for content, but, and you, but like, what does this have to do with anything? Right. Well, if she was really going to date someone. Would, would you commit a crime? Uh, well, yeah, I'd commit a crime. Well, I mean, I guess I'd want to hear that from you as someone that would go on a date with you. <laughs> as someone who might split a check with you or pay for your meal, I'm going to want to know that you're going to commit a crime. So, yes, please. You should date me because um, I'm not boring. I'm wild and crazy. <laughs> and there's a possibility that we could have sex if you play the song Closer by Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> she likes <laughs> She wants to get fucked like an animal. <laughs> uh, what a personality. I, okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, get the first one out of here. You're gone. Boo, get out of here. Number two is my lady. Although we haven't seen number him. three yet, Martina. Well, I'm just telling you where I'm at as we go here. Okay, now I'm taking a look at Martina. We have a we have a worthy competitor. Yes. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's see. What, oh my God, she's got chain mail on. Can I even get through that? Is it is she gonna <laughs> taste like copper? All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, Dream Man, very strong, able to carry very heavy loads, and also very <laughs> obedient. First husband, not very obedient. First husband. Originally very much coward. Had to beat bravery into him. But unfortunately beat him too much. Now he very stupid. Sexiest thing about me? Everything. Crazy place ever fool around in Dragon Cave. Waste lots of time. Lose many husbands. Need new husband. Unique. Okay, what do you think about Martina? Well, <laughs> she likes ska music. Strike one uh occupation writer yeah uh we see your work on display right here uh it's not like, very good <laughs> keep, keep your day job and what is on your head uh it's like a dead armadillo hugging the top of her head <laughs> <laughs> so, she don't... does kind of look like an armadillo yeah uh i guess when you you know it 
you know, listen, when you're not conventionally beautiful or uh, even sort of attractive, then sometimes you you take you take a, a, a shot at a look. I'm just going to go with this. Right. And, you know, it, it, a fashion it has, risk. Right. Right. So could I, you know, uh, do I see Brianna of Tarth here? No, <laughs> no, this is not. This doesn't get me hard the same way Brianna of Tarth does. Oh, does but, Brianna uh, of Tarth get you hard? Oh, does Brianna of Tarth not get you hard? I mean. She's a noble warrior who was kind knighted of. by, you know, Sir Jamie Lannister at the Fire of Tormont. So, of course. Oh, she's awesome. About? Yeah. All right. So let's see some more of this uh, ska love. Now, I love traditional ska I don't like. Like bands that incorporate ska like a sublime or what I love. But right. like Mighty Mighty Boston's get the fuck out of here. So, uh, traditional ska sucks. All right. But that's ahead. just her username. No, I think she's telling us something there. Okay. Maybe she's it's just the, her name is Ska. She's Ska. She's the Ska Viking. <laughs> Talent and skill. Very good at making husband obey. Not addicted to anything but like beer. If they make movie about life, about me, movie I I is theater. Yes. They would they would make movie about very strong barbarian queen. With many husbands, Amazing right. I would play Barbarian Queen. I could not date a man who does not obey. Obey. I'm not sucker for anything. Not suck. You should oh, no. date me because oh, I need no. suck. No sucking. Oh, no. Does that mean she's out? Oh no. I don't have a. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I'm sorry, Ska. We have a suck first policy here at Hackride Studios for our dating life. And that's just not going to coincide. Uh, I, plus, that metal thing on your head I thought would be something nice to hold on to. But now you're telling me I can't. So, all right. Okay. Suck first policy. She's out. <laughs> it's a suck first policy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, finish hearing her. Our content sucks and, and our lady sucks. First husband, very stupid. <laughs> I need second husband who obey very well. No, that's uh, okay. I think we all know. Hold on, though. Gotta think about it. Better writer than number three. A two women in one, a Southern Jersey girl and a black fullback, and uh, Martin. <laughs> Martin is there. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So who do you pick, Casey? You know who I'm gonna pick. That's right, number one, Carrie. <laughs> Gonna go with the uh, white Anglo-Saxon. Uh, you know, they call them wasps. We're going with the wasp. She kind of looks like my mom in that dress. Oh my God. <laughs> and she had a cute dog. Yeah, and you know, when she boils my penis, at least it gets attention. That's right. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Trinita, I love you, but we're gonna have to turn the lights off. Martina, you gotta start sucking, baby. Uh, you know. <laughs> If she was a sucker, would you go with her? Um, like for an experience to say I fucked a Viking or something? <laughs> no. Still number one. <laughs> so we can tell that Casey goes for looks. <laughs> no, like the normal human on the screen. Look at, look at, pick the normal human on the screen. And that's the one I'm going with. <laughs> Wait a second. Did she change her name to Trinita because of Trent Reznor and Nine Inch Nails? Oh, <laughs> I, I bet she did. <laughs> what are the odds? Do you th or do you think she loved him because her name was close to his? I, I, that There's a story there. I bet there is. That's amazing. Carrie would bang you to whatever you paid her to read. And that's <laughs> that's kind of what I went with is Carrie's a hooer. Uh, Trinita a is a mouthy hooer and Martina is a non-sucking hooer. So those are your choices from the hooers. <laughs> so with those choices, as I said again, hmm, someone who doesn't suck me and someone who looks like a fullback in the NFL or a real woman. All right, we're going number one. <laughs> probably lives in Encino and has like three dogs. And She yeah. lives in Glendale. Oh, Glendale, yes. Very close to you. Yes, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm not a fan of any of these women, but uh, I would also take a foursome if that's on the table. So Okay, so you would yeah. take all of them Well, yeah, if that was on the table. Well, yeah, because then Martina doesn't have to suck. You know, she's got other holes that could be used Why Trinita and Carrie do the, the work, do the extra work. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'll see if I can um, coordinate that for you. Please, if you could, okay. uh, let's contact all these women and be like, you know, that okay. show you did 30 fucking years ago. <laughs> Good idea. We should probably turn the cameras on again. There we are. <laughs> yes. And you have to be my size. That's what she said. <laughs> Wait, does you mean my, my, your hole, has, my, my thing has to be the size of your hole? So do we have to pour some plaster in you and then I have to measure it out? What are you talking about? What? what i've been watching a lot Wait, of plaster what? videos in the hospital <laughs> okay oh for your teeth yeah they pour plaster in it or whatever it is it's silver sometimes it's cool <laughs> you put that in your pussy get a shape of it <laughs> i actually saw them do that on um what is that Cor Real corn sex? diffs pot what wait they, they made a vagina on corn diffs no they made a, a dick Oh, well, yeah. of I think it was I think his name is Chops or something. Yeah, that tracks. <laughs> but I said I would do the vagina one to make a <laughs> pocket pussy. <laughs> well, don't offer that over there. That's ours. That's that's your I was exclusive just kidding. content. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's your exclusive content. We'll sell out. <laughs> but apparently he didn't do a very good job and it was really like distorted and messed up <laughs> oh, i'd love to have like a i'd love to have those at like eventually when we're big enough we have like a meet and greet and we have those and i'd pass them out and you have to sign them and so you're just, <laughs> it's a line of people and you're just having to sign your own pussy oh <laughs> take me on tour it's gonna be so much fun one day ah oh, blind mike tour will go on tour you know blind mike show will go on tour and we're gonna have so much fun i think so i think it has Can to you... happen Imagine the backstage antics. That but I'm going to need Michael. a lot of writers to help me with my show. Why are you so quiet? Why are you leaving? I'm not leaving. I just I froze again, so I'm jumping down. So because I think we have we're sending too much to the out uh, the the output of the whatever. Fuck you, Streamyard. Yes, WGNN. That's right, Tiffany. We haven't talked to chat yet. Let's talk to chat. Yeah, we're so bad at that. Where do you want me to go? I haven't started. Yes, so. Tiffany says that on WGNN, Chops did the cock mold on camera. Oh, no. How, <laughs> I didn't how get was away it? with that. <laughs> hey, Tiffany, how was it? Let us know. Yeah, Rated let us out know. Of 10. And, and, you know, not inches. Hey, oh, you know, make it like, because <laughs> a six can be a 10 and a 10 can be a six. You know that what I'm saying? That is so true. <laughs> we have discussed that on this show before. Right. I don't think I've ever met a girl that said a 10 was a six, but you know, us guys How like it's to made. Think that's made. Yes. That would be a great segment, huh? How it's made pocket pussies and molded dildos. <laughs> I mean, the pocket pussy one's got to be a little weird because like it can't make you right. It, functionally, if you're super, super tight, a pocket pussy couldn't make a mold, right? Because you have, you need two ends that are drying. It's just going to be stuck together. Like, I, I'm curious how they do that technology. They just do the outside, I think. Oh, okay. And then they just put in, like, a, a, a standard? A standard inside. hole. Okay. Yeah, stand I think so, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> all right. Nice. All right, that's all I need to know about that business. Uh... So Chunkster says that his wife and him dressed up in 80s vintage, overdid the makeup and hair, made a porn onto VHS, so they could always deny it was them. We were not even 10 years. It makes no sense. Okay. I don't think we get in trouble for playing that, that idea. No. That was, was Stutch Angsta. <laughs> the up FBI, not us. Thanks, Stutch Angsta. That was amazing. Yeah. Uh, psycho face. Psycho face. That was Carrie. Yeah, still the most fuckable one out of the three, I gotta say. Yeah unfortunately but that dress oh man Ugh. well I, like i said kind of remind me of my mom's eh, not not hating it too much <laughs> you know not that it I reminds me of a dress that i had in the 80s when i was a um i was a flower girl in a wedding and it was dressed like that but purple oh it's terrible yeah frills were weird uh, who who designed frills that's... lacy frilly yeah, that's... it was not sexy i mean poor carrie I don't know who that is. Who's Walter Mercado? I don't know. Hold on. Okay, Cortez, just... help us out. Tell us. I'll do uh, some producer shit. Walter Mercado. A Puerto Rican astrologer and actor that kind of looks like a cross between 
Uh, fuck, what was his name? The guy in Vegas with the rings that would play piano and... Yeah, marvelous ladies. I can't find a girl. There's just not very many girls around. What was his name? And then he had oh. it, his Michael Douglas, and then Matt Damon played him in a movie where he did surgery to look like him. All right, it looked like that guy. Um, who <laughs> the heck is that? It's like the biggest singer in the '70s. Come on, chat. You know who I'm talking. Liberace. Liberace. Oh, yeah, okay. Looks, looks like the Mexican female Liberace. I guess is what I would say. Cordis. Oh, What's was the Mexican psychic. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yes. That. Uh. Write that down. That is some. That looks like some good content. When I looked at it. Hold on. I'm gonna write it down. <laughs> <laughs> Cordis, uh, send me a chat. I might, or uh, you know, on X. I might forget about that. And I was correct about the pocket pussy. Yay! What's that? Oh, it's just a uh, uh, a universal hole. Yeah, and the it's mold an of the outside. outside. Nice. <laughs> well, I, listen, you know, send me a test subject. <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> You're gonna invent a new one? No, I just I would see how you know. I'd, I'd give it a rating. You know, we, oh, we okay. do an, un an, un an unboxing and a rating. <laughs> I got uh, is to be like, hi, this is uh, Casey Day here. We got a uh, DJ Electrifies pussy today. Uh, we're going to be <laughs> testing this out. We're going to unbox it. Oh, here we go. Look at that thing. Yeah, that's nice. Nice and tight. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I do that on the lips. <laughs> 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 if I really sent that to you, you would use it. <laughs> 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 I want it. All right. I might have to make one. <laughs> you can't do it. All right, everyone. Everyone that has a woman, next time you're going down on your woman, I want you to take your right index finger, put it totally sideways like it's up and down, and then move it back and forth real quick and go <laughs> right on her lips and see what she does. <laughs> That's your mission, Hack Riders. Go forth and conquer. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. All right, so I think we have some uh, more internet clips. Yeah. What are these these ones are about things that I'm scared of, like horror oh. movies. So so you called your, your clips Chips and Clips? Yes. <laughs> I like that. All right. <laughs> so here's your fear Chips and Clips. Yep. Right. I don't know if I made an uh, intro for this one. I think that might work on the asshole, too. Uh, <laughs> but it's funnier on the pussy. All right. <laughs> right you're scared of horror movies yes i am it's time to scare some people uh -oh. like chucky scares me are you gonna run away are you gonna run away yeah i'm scared oh they're gonna kill someone that's <laughs> right i was like don't hurt this old lady <laughs> <laughs> she's sprinting <laughs> her running <laughs> she's sprinting. she Wait, says what in tarnation <laughs> There's no way you can do that to someone that age. Yeah, That was for real. Yeah, that's a hundred percent. Earlier today, you said, "Oh, dude, uh, when I when crime or harm comes my way, I'm a fighter, not a runner." Hey, I didn't really run that. Fast. You ran, dude, I and was you like, shiver she like a. <laughs> Okay, clowns really scare me a lot. No, oh, why are you telling the internet this? Oh, okay, people, you know what to send her. Just nothing but clowns. <laughs> Luigi Greenberg, you got, you got a job. Nothing but clowns for the rest of no, the No, don't do that. But see, this is helping me break my fear of clowns. DJ Electric Clown. But these children coming up are going to be scared of clowns for their entire life. This is really gnarly. This mom told this clown with the chainsaw to scare her kids on Halloween, and he didn't hold back. Oh my god! Oh, so mean! <laughs> Terrible, huh? Oh, yeah, just, I'm gonna cut your head off, you little piece of shit! Like, wait, just, just missing that. It's just missing. Oh. oh, that was nice. No, but I love Halloween, Tiffany Washington. I, I do. I love Halloween, and but I hate going to those scary Halloween parks like, um, not scary farm oh my god no oh when the people slide by you with the metal feet and like oh ah. my god no 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 
All right, mm-hmm. guess where we're going this Halloween? Everyone, we're going to do a remote <laughs> from Not Scary Farm. That's right. It'll be me talking to all of them, being like, you're not real. You're not real. Get That's, away from me. You're not real. At some point, we have to get a little fry mask for you. I got a demon mask, and we are going to this thing, and we're going to shoot it live, <laughs> and we're going to do it live, and you being scared the whole time is going to be amazing. Okay. I guess we could do that. It's fun being scared, but then I get, like, too scared you know i don't know let's see it's you know what else scares me is doing stand-up oh yeah no that's scary but real quick back to the the horror thing because it just popped into my mind i went Mm on this i went on this ride with a friends at not scary farm but it was the line was so long and then you get to the front and you realize why um so you go into at a time Uh and you're immediately separated and then each of you are like you know, someone grabs you and you're like, hey, come in here, do this, do this. And then so each of you are sh- like, then go through the rest of the thing. And at some point in each thing, you're shown the other person like dead and on a table. No and, way. Yeah. And so you see your friend there like in a video dead and on the table. And you're like, it freaks you the fuck out when you get out of there. You're like, oh, my God. And then they come out and they have the same experience. Like, dude, I saw you dead on a table. But then they don't tell you anything. So you just literally walk out and you're talking to each other like, you're okay? You're okay? Yeah, what happened? Dude, I saw they were cutting you up on that table. Dude, I saw they were, like, fucking you up on that table. And yeah, it was it was scary. And it was it was like a, a, a one-day sponsored event from the Horror Movie Channel. I forget what it's called. Uh, but it's like the Horror Movie Channel. Uh, I always forget what it is. Fear or something like that. But it was scary as shit yikes oh my god i could not do that but i did go into some of those haunted houses and they scare the crap out of me yeah. they're just right up on you in your face oh so what would you rather do a 45 minute haunted house or a four minute stand-up set four minute stand-up set 10 minute stand-up set 10 minute stand-up set 20 minute stand-up set 20 minute stand up set. Right, <laughs> I'm so really scared really of haunted scared. houses. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Just no, I can bomb house. the stand up. I might really suck, but I wouldn't have to be in a friggin' haunted house. Just fill the goddamn haunted house up with clowns and let's get it on. <laughs> oh, shit. I went to um, see The Grateful Dead in Las Vegas and we stayed at Circus Circus because it was the cheapest hotel. And they had clown pictures all over the room. I had to cover them with blankets <laughs> and. <laughs> I was on acid and I was just freaking out the whole time every time we were in there. But I mean, I had fun. I actually wasn't that scared once I was tripping, but it was a weird, it was a weird trip. That's for sure. Well, we are definitely making sure that clowns are involved with everything we do from now on. So you oh, just good. Great. Yeah, you know, we, we, it's called contact therapy. We're going to, we're going to get you over the clown thing as a team. Okay. Thousands, hopefully thousands of right. you know like-minded individuals online. We'll just we'll just make sure we send you you know our scariest clown just so we can make sure that you're you know desensitized to it. Oh my god. If that <laughs> happened, don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. All right, what's next on this? Scared to do stand up. This is weeks here. What pretty have you bad. learned about the city? Well, I tried a lot of these open mics and I ended up in a driveway. What does that mean? Like a man, like a man's driveway. He you've tried a, a lot of these open mics, and you've ended up in a driveway. Yes, because that's where they at, are. At that point, is it your fault or is it his fault? <laughs> Shane yeah. Gillis. I mean, I mean, look now. I know. Look, hold on. All jokes aside, as society, we're gonna sit around and be like, "This freak was luring dumb girls into his driveway." And you would think, yeah, that's fucked up. But then you meet the dumb girls that were lured into the driveway. And then all of a sudden you're like, man, this guy was, you know, fishing with dynamite. <laughs> <There was. laughs> so not only did she have to do stand up, which we didn't get to see, but they roasted her afterwards. So that's Jesus. just like the worst case scenario. Yeah, well, I mean, definitely don't. Uh, go in your first 10 times on a show with Joe Rogan, uh, <laughs> Mark Norman, any of these guys. That's a, no, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. No, don't I wouldn't do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Although, you know, I know certain people that I think would shine on this thing. It's, it's not like, uh, you know, I think 
you know, there's thought out writers and there's on the spot comedy people, right? Mm -hmm. On the spot comedy people, that's usually where you end up being a stand up. Except all the stand ups that I see in these little YouTube communities are fucking awful. So, like, there is a, a, a demarcation line between good stand up and bad stand up. And apparently, like, you're bad at stand up for a very long time when you do stand up. I think so. I might always be bad. Not you. I'm saying anyone. Anyone who goes into oh, stand I know. is, you know, bad <laughs> for a very long time. And it, it just seems like something that's really embarrassing to be bad at for a very long time. You know, as a musician, if you're bad at the beginning, you get better. Uh, stand up, I think that curves a little longer because, you know. And you're always you, doing it in front of people. <laughs> yeah, and you're, and you're always, like, I think the goal would be to fall in love with your own sense of humor. Then you can kind of do it and just tell jokes about whatever. You don't need a set. You don't need, like, I got 30 minutes. Let's just talk. We can talk because I'll just talk. I'm, my sense of humor is funny. And I think that's the tool you sharpen. But, uh, I don't, yeah, I, I think that, like, I've often said that I think that me, you, Craig, and Mike need a, you know, five-minute each uh, stand-up comedy special. I think that would be funny. I think We should you know, do it. Uh, I would be willing to try. I mean, I, I've done it on his show a few times, and it's fun. Uh, Blind Mike and Craig have both done stand-up in the past, and I know that, you know, your clown-based comedy is working. So uh, <laughs> I, I think we have something there. <laughs> I'll go first just to get it out of the way. Oh, yes, please go first. I because I was afraid they're going to put me first and I would I don't want to go. first. <laughs> I'll go first. I'm a good last guy because I can then make fun You're of what, they, what you all said. Yes, I will just take notes on what you all said and that will be my set. I will actually write nothing and that will your your guys set will dictate how good my set will be. Oh, geez. Here's a, not a good idea. Why not send a lecture to an ICP show? <laughs> oh, no. Well. I mean, you are old enough to get all the VDs now. It wouldn't really matter, you know. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. You've never. Louis C.K.'s advice for getting good at stand-up is to suck at it for ten years. Yes. Yeah. No. No. Thank you. No. Thank you. No. 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 I don't want to be one of them fifty, sixty-year-olds just starting to get good at stand-up. Nope. <laughs> so we're too old to start. So we might as well not. Is that what you're saying? Pass on that one. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I froze over right. there. Sorry about that. <laughs> you have another cat? I, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a shame because I was trying to get Cat Williams on this episode. I wonder what Cat Williams would have said about your performance here tonight. Mm. Can't even do a full minute. <laughs> <laughs> the man. <laughs> They got him working the door. Baby can't even do a damn full that minute. It's a shame. That was good. Get away from me, white bitch. <laughs> That's the one thing I don't think I like about the Kill Tony show. Uh -huh. Is is it's it's funny, but they're acting like it's the funniest fucking thing they ever heard. And, and listen, we do these shows and maybe we laugh a little hard sometimes, but that seems it's way out of proportion to the humor sometimes to me. And that's the only question I've ever had about those shows is that it seems to me like then you who are who's your audience? You're not really going for comedy audience. You're just going for people who like laugh audience so that you're just going for a more broad audience and fuck the comedy fans. Am I wrong on that? Am I just I don't know, but I just feel bad for all those people that do stand up on that show because they all get roasted. I've never heard them say something good about someone. Have you? I mean, I apparently like I've heard Blind Mike mention names like, well, this guy got to start there. Or this guy got to start there. But they were names I didn't know. Okay. So so they're, they might be working comedians, but they're not someone that we would know, you know. Right. Maybe like that. No, I don't need that cat DeMarco and DeMarco. I, I don't know. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'd have to search <laughs> a brain for a memory of a name. That doesn't mean you're, you know, succeed, succeeding in the way. Yes, it's just a roast show and people volunteer to come on and be roasted. Mm hmm. I mean, think of, <clears throat> I don't think you can win in that situation. Uh, like, even if you're funny, there's enough comedy roasting mind on the stage. They're going to get you. Yeah, you know, they let's... love hearing themselves talk and tell jokes. So they're going to do it. And then if you start going at them too hard, then it's going to be like, oh, well, you prepared just to roast us. Then it's not fun either. So it's a. It's a delicate line you'd have to cross and just be a sympathetic victim who got in some few shots. That's how you win that. That's the only W there. Yeah, for sure. So now we have some cuteness just because I was scared of the other things. So here's some cuteness. Oh, my God. 
Aww. Oh, I'm a fan. Duck. Ducks are my favorite. You know that. Ducks are cats. It's a cat. Oh, it's not going to eat it. I'm hugging him. not going to eat it. I'm hugging. Oh, what? They love each other. I gotta get one of those for my cats. All right. Do you think they would like it? Uh, the little massage uh, thing or a duck, you mean? No, uh, one of the massage things. And if they don't like it, I got a place right under my cock they could, they could put it on. So. <laughs> so you would like it. Good. I think I would like it. Uh, let me start my camera up again. Hi, there, I'm back. Hi, welcome back. Hey. No, it's okay. I don't want to be back again. Quite the booty over here. Let me uh, let me just take a look down there. Ooh, baby doll. Is poop coming out of that or dreams? Whoa, what? <laughs> Is that a good pickup line? <laughs> if I walk up to a girl and I look at her ass and she notices me, I'm like, hey, does poop come out of there or dreams? Can I get your number? <laughs> Is that is that is that good? No. Okay. That is not good, Casey. Do not use that pickup line. Well, if I do, I will film it. <laughs> All right. So I think we have some wah wah. Anybody? Anybody? Yeah. Before we before we do wah, uh, can I can I show you something else? Oh yeah, of course. So, <clears throat> uh, we you know we have these characters in Venice, and wah is one of them. Obviously, okay. she is like the the top of the mountain. <laughs> She's the peak. <clears throat> Hold on one sec. Sorry. Uh, Did you sneeze? <laughs> no, I had, to, I had a cough. I have all oh. this. It's like I was given medicine for a whole bunch of days, and now I'm off it. So, like, all the. You're just congested and whatever. Oh, but, um, yeah. You should know that, nursey nurse. Um, by the way, Go get yourself a nurse if you as a co-host and a co-producer if you got a health issue. Oh my God, all the free advice I got. Ooh, save me hundreds. <laughs> all right. Anyway, <laughs> so this is another character from Venice who I'm curious if you would like to have us follow. Uh, I see him all the time. He's actually friends with Wa, um, and I, oh. it, I it's, fuck Green Dot. Dar, I'll, I'll, I'll get his link to Andrea and she'll put it out. Uh, but I call him Slogan Paul because okay. this guy does not speak normal human speak he mm. only speaks in like slogans or uh 12-step program lines or commercial lines i it is and you'll see in the first one i actually counted in a 15 second video he says 14 slogans it oh is God. amazing and so let me introduce you all and let me know if you want us to cover him here like a wall kind of thing because i think we have there's a bunch of characters in this. oh my god uh but here he is slogan paul Try to pick up the slogan. Today's the day, homies. We're here to shine. We're here to go up. We're here to ascend and shine our light and live the dream. And the universe has our back and it's all <laughs> happening and you can do it all. So believe in yourself. The health is the wealth. DIY. Go, go, go. All you do. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! That 15 seconds! Amazing. <laughs> so, Andrea, if you can check there, his, uh, his, his, his uh, at is on the screen there. If, you can get it. if not, that's cool. Uh, but this guy does and 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 how fast they're all off the top of his head try to do that i've tried to do it i've tried to imitate it's fucking impossible this is like some sort of like awesome rap skill he has but it's not right it, we'll see him rapping in a second but just do it don't give up don't let them get you down <laughs> like i don't know Hang i could probably there. do <laughs> yeah song don't say no to drugs more. uh strive to survive keep the dream going like it's fucking crazy yeah Today's the day, homies. We're here to shine. We're here to go up. We're here to ascend and shine our light and live the dream. And the universe has our back and it's all happening and you can do it all. So believe in yourself. The health is the wealth. DIY. 
go, go, go. All you do. I mean, <laughs> I mean people just unbelievable. All right. So he's also, so he films all the time and he's like a bouncer at a bar and he has, he's on the street all the time. Oh, with, he uh, is. He's a yeah, bouncer it, at a bar in Venice. He, well, I think he just hangs in there all the time, like hangs out there and he's like an video. unofficial bouncer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he also sells art on the boardwalk and is friends with Wa. So this guy is like plugged in. But like wow. he also has some uh, uh Yeah. Skills. These beats be slapping. We can't help but do a little rapping. Mm-hmm. We redlining, no capping. Turbo jet fuel. Huh. Wild West Outlaws. Counterculture. Mother Earth Heroes. Stay in tune with your mother, you're never a zero. You're always on the team, one team, one tribe. Ride the vibe, gratitude, what a blessing to be alive. He's, he only speaks in slogans. Like, if you've ever seen the Star wow. Trek where, where Picard talks to a guy that only speaks in metaphor, this is this guy, like he only speaks in slogans. You have to be like, hey, just do it. He'd be like, yeah, He'd be like, yeah. He'd be, I can't even think of another one. This guy has them like back to back to back to back. <laughs> Everything is sacred. Everything is holy. Do the do. We out here. <laughs> holy moly. Holy moly. Well, that, yeah, he's another day, there. another dollar. <laughs> he ran out and then he's like, another day, another More dollar. medicine to the head. Feed your head, guys. Mother Earth medicine all day. Train to rain. You are the spacesuit. You are the spaceship. Be good to you. <laughs> okay, see what I'm saying? How? How do you? Your tech, master your tech, ancient alien heroes. We out here. <laughs> yay, yay. Oh, he's slogan, baby. He's slogan, Paul. What a beautiful day, Muscle Beach. Thank you, thank you, Mother Earth. <laughs> Everybody's here getting it in. Fitness pros with their camera crews, making our content. To remind everyone. Train the rain, guys. No days off. Get it in. Pump it up. Get some sun. Get some fresh. It's like it's like if you're boxing. That was a combination. It just hit you yeah. four, Rick, real quick. Share. Push yourself with your homies. Get a workout partner. Whatever it takes to keep going up, 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 like the palm trees. No days off. We could be better every day. We just stay mindful about it. Put in a little work. The good habits grow as we evolve, expand, all that good stuff. <laughs> all that good stuff. Thank you, Mother Earth. Inspiring every day. One love, baby. Keep it herbal. <laughs> One love. Keep it herbal. Always finishes with something Keep good. Keep it herbal. <laughs> Logan Paul. So, He's a walking billboard. If you would like to uh, have us cover Slogan Paul, the walking billboard, a little more, just let us know in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe, uh, check out djelectrify.com, hackridethedemon.com. kind of content we like over here. Weirdos that only speak in slogans. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do not love that. Isn't that amazing? I knew a guy in high school that I guess after we all graduated, I never saw him again, but apparently he did a bunch of ecstasy and then he turned into just, he could only speak in rap. Really? So yeah, only rap lyrics, and Is, can you it just never him? stopped. I never <laughs> saw him again, but my brother did, and so he told me about it. Oh, let's reach out. <laughs> let's reach out. <laughs> okay. Be like, listen, hey, you got a mental illness that makes you rap? Come on down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're booked on the hack. Right and student. so I've never understood this this um, slogan here. One in the hand is worth two in the bush. You don't know what that means? M no. Like that. Okay, so that means that. Uh, what you have, like, so the meaning behind that is what you have is always better than what you think you will have. Oh, I see. Okay. So, so like two is in a bush. You can't see what it is, but there might be two in there, but I have one in my hand. The, right. the, 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 the whatever the thing that states it's better to have the thing that you know. So like, you know, if you're on a game show and they like, well, we can give you a thousand dollars or what's behind door number two. Well, it might be a toaster or something. Yeah. So, so this theorem goes to we'll take the thousand dollars because one in the hand is worth two in the bush that's what it means okay gotcha but if you can get two in the bush you get two oh in the bush. look little hack rides <laughs> if you can get two in the bush you're terrible look at little hack rides eyes are opening 
Aww, and he has to now see the horrible world that he's born into. I'm sorry, keep him closed. <laughs> he wasn't even aware of dentists before he opened his eyes. Keep him closed. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Uh, little little hack ride is a baby kitten that we're gonna put a parachute on and somehow get from Florida to California, so I can yes. raise it. Uh, but we'll figure that out. Uh, but if not, it will go to a loving home somewhere around the South. Hopefully a uh, Big Ten fan, not an SEC fan. That is the one thing that I would demand, Andrea, is that you have to find a Big Ten fan in the South and not an SEC. What are you doing with your mouth right there? Did you have I was a, drinking did, something. Did you have a black... It kind of looked like a black root issue. Right? Mm. <laughs> it was a, a black cup. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Which is, you know... Which is fair. Um, so uh, you want to? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say after that. I don't know either. So right before I went into the the hospital, I went uh-huh. for a walk. It was like my last walk. <laughs> and uh, uh, did you want to see what I ran into? I do. Yeah. Why I assume it's something the good. Wild. Little wall in the wild. That's right, folks. We saw a little wall in the wild. And thank you, Luigi. Wearing Greenberg the hack ride me. shirt. Well, thank you, Luigi Greenberg, for the art. Make sure you go check out Luigi Greenberg on X or Twitter and then follow him wherever you can. He's awesome. He does this art. He's He's been uh, with us, you know, for a very long time since the last Puzzle Box. He helps out Shuli Network. He's, he's a great artist and a good guy. So check out his stuff. Why in the wild? But I saw her in the wild, baby. Oh, yeah. And by the way, I would with that Why one. Why in the wild? Make her wear the shirt. Why not? Every once in a while, folks, I get the chance to see our wonderful law in the wild at Venice Beach. I don't hunt it, but when it presents itself, I take advantage. So here's what we got, folks. I was walking down the street. I'm like, hey, I think that's Wah. And, you know, I don't want to be a weirdo, so I stand a long ways away and take a picture. <laughs> not, like <right laughs> face. not some sort of weird stalker. No. I'm like, hey, there's one in the wild. And that's that. That's the end of the episode. That's the one in the wild. Isn't that? Oh, no. Okay, that's not the end of the episode. Then I came back, so I walked. Uh-oh. Am I frozen? It's one way. Are you good? Do you see it now? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so this is right. And then he walks <laughs> back the other way. Oh god, she's doing more yoga on the no, I saw the trash again. can yoga in real life! <laughs> oh no! I saw one the one! I felt like a nature historian! I, I felt like I was describing <laughs> the mating rituals of the lemur! <laughs> and that guy was smiling. <laughs> And then the, she was with some weird guy, but I was like, that's Wah in the Wild. Wah in the Wild. It's Wah in the Wild. That's a really good one. <laughs> I was like, is she going to fall in the trash? <laughs> that's Wah in the Wild, baby. Wah in the Wild. Oh, I love Wah in the Wild. Isn't it Wah in the Wild? That was amazing? awesome. Thank you. Yeah, so I'll keep doing my duty there. And, and now that you know, it's like that, that shit she puts on YouTube. It ain't bullshit because there ain't no filming going on right there. She is doing that. Uh, that's just freestyle life happening right there. Well, I saw the first time that she did it, and we're going to watch some of that coming up. So, Oh, no. You'll see All how right. she gets into it. Funny story <laughs> about this clip. You know where I'm going with this. Uh, so when DJ Electrify sent me this today, the first thing, like what you would see right now, <laughs> is a giant tit. <laughs> <laughs> it was a totally naked wall. I swear to God. And I go, what? What am I looking at? Here? But I made it on Mid Journey. So I was like, they're not going to put nipples and anything naked on Mid Journey. Well, they, well, I mean, they only put one on, to be fair. Like the other boob that was fully showing didn't have a nipple, but there was almost a <laughs> crease where you could see a vag. It was, she was <laughs> nude. <laughs> I'm like, it was the first thing. And she's like, oh, we'll just not play it. I'm like, I don't think you can do that. Once you add it to the stage, it's going to play the first second, no matter what. <laughs> it's just a naked wall. <laughs> and so, yes, we uh, edited that out. So there might be some issues with this, but uh, why don't you go ahead and run this? And it's, ladies and gentlemen... It's time for war. It's war time. Yes, it is. Let's give it a go. 
<laughs> Just imagine a naked wall right here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Luigi, I will send it to you. I'll put it on Twitter. It's amazing. <laughs> Oh no! Pop. <laughs> popped right up. Fucking <laughs> popped up like a little weasel. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, got it. No, shelter the biosocial. Shelter the biosocial. Psychosocial. I guess that's one of her goddess friends. Look at their hands. They're black. They're like uh, pants. What is going on with that person's pants? Are they that dirty? Look at the face. <laughs> is that a human? What's going on there? I don't know. It's scaring me though. A little bit. She she is a violent bitch. She said it multiple times now that she, in that last video she goes I'm violent, like yeah. she she lo she resorts to violence as like a first. Uh, uh, thank you, judge, for taking those kids away. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for taking those fucking kids away. You come here, you move my friends every week. That's violence. Go mess with the people in the homes. Move them because of merit based systems they could sleep in because they pay, but because my friends don't want to be part of a rat race that hurts the planet, you're gonna come and move them? And I get my privilege too, because I'm popular and I make friends. I don't gotta stay on this beach, but I would like to, because I squatting. feel better when I sleep in harmony <laughs> with Earth, and right now the homes, we don't get to connect to the electromagnetic field of Earth, and I really want the negative ions, and you're a superhero. Remove your uniform now. I stand in your way and I go nowhere. Remove your uniform. This trash? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, I want to try this. <laughs> Next time a cop stops you, <laughs> you just in the middle of them asking you questions, do two spins as quick as you yes. can. Yes, just and spin through space and time. It is amazing. Do you think this is good for the planet? Can I see your feet? Yeah. It'll help relax him. You guys are not going to move my friend. She already said shelter is a biopsychosocial need. My queen here. Biopsychosocial need. She's not going anywhere. We go nowhere. She's a zombie queen. With us every week. I'm freeing us. You guys aren't Calling that as a band name. Biopsychosocial need. Not cleaners. They go nowhere. Go ahead. Put shelter the biopsychosocial need. New teacher. Run away and we'll play chase. Let's chase. My foot's all better. What? <laughs> <laughs> no one would deal with this if she wasn't like a homeless hot. She's a homeless ten. Air hug. You didn't air hug. Air hug. No. Air hug. She's like demanding that they do an air hug. You must air hug. That's what's up. Air hug. Never. We go nowhere. You. No one wakes you up and makes you move your stuff. That's what's up. My friends don't move. You can dance. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I've never seen her this animated with the ass shaking at the same time. Right? Guess she got her butt implants back in. Oh, uh, is that why? Maybe. She's doing a lot of squatting, a lot of movements. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a tryout chick for the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader team. Or something. Oh, oh, now dear. it's serious talk time. I mean, no, this person has tape, taped every. <laughs> that person. Yeah. That's a goddess. He's filming. He's filming. People in Dubai all over the world. She waves. <laughs> she is manic as fuck in this one. Yo. This is as manic as she has ever been. She's doing cheers. All right, well, this needs to be a song. That's how we go. It's the age of information. Uh, it's the age of industry. Yeah! Time for all of us to flee from market economy. Yeah! What is going on? Oh, this is the craziest movie we've ever got. Tell him, Queen. That was hard to say. You got it. I've never seen pants so, so far up a person's you know, ass. <laughs> She's acting 5150. They're gonna take her to fucking psych ward. No, they never take her anywhere. It's not gonna get moved. No. Come out here and guard it. If you clean Come out here and guard it. You create more trash. If you stop, the trash will pile up, and then we figure out a new way. They go nowhere. They're gonna listen to me, not you. Lady. She has a stink face if I've ever seen one. She does. She's like, I am not charmed. Fuck no, we go nowhere. You're you're gonna get free whether you like it or not. No more market economy. We take this beach over. Special interest people who don't live here control this beach. Fuck that. We're about to stand strong. Step down. Join us. Pulling out the trash. We're standing strong as they're throwing my house away. <laughs> this one's like, I'm out of here. Yeah, let me get the bike out of here before they take my bike. Go ahead and take my shit. <laughs> Why do homeless people have so much crap? Uh, do you want to know why? Because they're hoarders? Well, I so a little bit of that. They don't have stuff, so anything that they... But, like, functionally, how do they have that much stuff? Is because the... Um, in and out of Venice, like the turnover, people move here and leave here really quick. Mm -hmm. And so people like buy furniture, spend like two months here, and then just like throw leave all their it. furniture on the side of the road and get the fuck out of here. Yep. So every morning when I go for a walk, there is somewhere in one of these alleys just a ton of furniture. Someone just dumps it all. And it could be. Dude, expensive. you got to call me when that happens because I'm going to come pick that stuff up. Most of the furniture I have, I have gotten from the side of the street. I have like I, I don't usually pick up furniture, but I picked up like art pieces and stuff that are amazing. Yeah. Just because people literally will buy them, and then you know something happens, and they're like, "I got to get the fuck out of here asap. I don't have time," you know, uh, and so they throw all their shit on the outside. So that's how they load up. And when you see them have good stuff, like I've seen them have like thousand dollar like chest and cabinets out on the boardwalk, you're like, "What the fuck?" And that's because someone just threw it on the sidewalk. Right, but like, don't they know that they don't have anywhere to put this stuff? Why do they collect it? It's just weird. Well, that has more, I think, to do with the psychology of not having anything. And so they want to have things. Well, then you're walking by things of value all the time. Yeah. And so they build little homes out of these things. That's all these little homes pop up. Is there's just so much junk everywhere because of the turnover of people moving in and out. And and they're not furnished apartments, right? They're all unfurnished. So everyone buys new furniture every time. Right. Like, so that person leaves, spent three months, put the furniture on the court. Someone moves in, leaves two months later. So, like, 
by the course of a year, five people have put furniture on out there, and so that's why you see it all over the beach. Your that's why the cops don't like the locals. Your need is to come in here and use force and tell people what to do, and that's not yeah, okay. Yeah, street sofas. Dylan understands. Yeah. It depends when you get them. You got to get them the second that you see they get they're out there. Because they'll get slept on in one night, and that's it. That's, you can't We're use not that going one. Yeah, then it's scabies ridden or bed bugs or something. Ugh. Got him. Now's not a good time to dip out. It's a good time <laughs> to stay together, to resonate. Oh, they're all leaving, and she's <laughs> she's alone with all their and stuff. And to unite. Mm -hmm. That's what time it is. That's what time it is. It's time to be brave. It's time to come around. It's time to do what we do. No, no. Superheroes, unite! Superheroes, unite! Where are my friends on the beach? Superheroes! She put out the bat signal. The crack <laughs> signal. She put out the crack signal. Where do you get pretty pictures of pretty ladies? Huh? He's trying to make us move every week. Pick up trash every week, hey, and we want to find another doing? way. Call me a superhero. I don't like being called a superhero. Ah, sucks. She's a superhero. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> ain't gonna lie. <laughs> What's in your hand there, buddy? You guys gonna do something about this? His briefcase. That's <laughs> Does she want it to stay? We want to be free. It's not right that we can't go to the class we want to go to. We can't travel to the place we want to go to. Whatever they're paying that guy today, I would say for today he deserves to time. Out. Everything, our needs are in this. Oh, now she's got to help. Laws change all the time. They're only for humans. No, we're not protesting. We're loving them. How dare you? Yeah, that's the thing I thought he was holding. What was he holding? <laughs> what is that? It's like a little stick, a little pickle stick, and now she's gonna poke him with it. <laughs> what, the... what is wrong with all these people? You're the same spirit as me in a different body, and I won't tell you what to do, and you won't tell me what to do. We will support each other, empower each other. You will attune to me as a subjectivity to be related to, not an object to be used or to match. Yeah! Here's your sword back. <laughs> Here's your sword back. She knows she's on camera. That's what's going on here. She knows the guy that's filming this. They, they work together, so she is, she is hamming it up today. I love it. She's seen those numbers pop up, and she's like, Hey, you got the Reverend Dr. White. We Why love scared? rhinos. Literally, CEO. the black rhinos extinct. I'm we with her. We need to mobilize in a love crusade way and stop doing this market economy bullshit. Now, we're not with you. We're not with the market economy. We're not That's doing right. it. We're not doing what you said. <laughs> we're with we'll figure love. something out next week. Skippy for you. We're gonna get froze. We need a watering hole. There used to be rivers yeah, okay and mushrooms. That's a biopsychosocial need. We need water. A biopsychosocial need. Do you know they're getting shit? And we dump sewage in it for pooping and pooping water. We're gonna find another way. You know I told them today that the water is broken. I can't believe how lovable we are. We just keep messing it up because the people who aren't here. Hurting people. Every time you use control and force, you must use the most amount of love and care. Otherwise, you harm. Right. We are not in harmony. Not in harmony. I want you guys are bad guys today. I want more Turn on your camera again. Okay. It's a lose lose today, guys. Best press is to hit reverse, get out of here. Let's do the math. Let's do the math. $50 an hour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is my argument. He's doing the math. He's doing the cop math. Yeah. He's got a calculator right too. Now, you're probably, if I gave everybody fifty dollars <laughs> an hour to stand here, I'm being charged three hundred fifty dollars an hour to watch that cute little ass walk around. Isn't that something? <laughs> <laughs> you sorry ass. But that's something else to do. You're getting too much attention right now. You got the red. I got a new favorite. I got a new fan favorite. I like him. Do you know his name again? Daisy, no. Let's see. He just showed up out of nowhere. 
Let's start doing the math. <laughs> Today's a brand new day starring all of us. Daisy, we're gonna start doing that. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I gotta see that again. Hold on. God, I'm gonna fuck it up. Okay, that's at 12:50, so let's go back. All right. <laughs> it's like a, it's like she had an egg. It's like a chicken walked and like squatted down and had an egg. <laughs> Daisy, you're about to have an egg. Good thing I'm friends with everyone. You guys were here five hours. At fifty dollars an hour, seven individuals, that'd be how much an hour. You guys are costing me a lot of money just sitting here being stupid. He's my favorite. <laughs> hey, why don't you guys put on a couple of swastikas and walk march around here? <laughs> He's good. Oh, we gotta find this guy. I'll make a deal with you. I'll make a deal with you guys. If you know how the grocery carts are four feet high, if I create a, exactly like grocery cart metal wire, same thing, and I have it be two and a half feet by eight feet, so it's literally a grocery cart bed. If you allow me to house the people here in them, I will come personally and roll everyone away in the morning. I'm gonna step it up. I'm gonna it small. <laughs> I love that guy. Okay, too. <laughs> Tell him to get him, so. Uh-huh. It's like the, her own little Billy Bob Thornton. To her, her like, this is, It'll she's wired, the uh, so homeless like Angelina part. Jolie. He's the homeless Billy Bob. Yes. <laughs> I love just you hearing him bitch. Do you know Arnold Schwarzenegger donated about 50 tiny homes to us up at the VA? Mr. Schwarzenegger, did you know that only half the veterans get to use them? Why don't you come here back here and ask me why? The other thing is we're going to figure out how to do some small homes right here. I already put it in the budget, Mr. Schwarzenegger. I tell you what, <laughs> He's your not our governor anymore. <laughs> you got awful close to, you know. You are fined one pretty for a violation of the verbal Look at the guy in the yellow hat. He's having a great time. Yeah. <laughs> like, this shit's crazy, man. I get paid for this? <laughs> She's dancing with the titties. These white titties. What'd you do to Ray Reddy? Oh, damn. I was out in Venice. These white titties just danced around me all day. I got paid like a thousand dollars. Didn't do shit. Did nothing. <laughs> Talk to this other white lady about this other white lady. <laughs> she didn't have love tornado, though. <laughs> this is the funniest person on YouTube or in the internet. Fire they just leave. <laughs> of course she wins. Daisy wins again. Nope. <laughs> I'm just gonna spend me. <laughs> oh, she won. I can't believe. And that guy is a superhero. We gotta find him. We do. <laughs> I get driven around and show you. <laughs> Waving at people. This is not real life. This is not. <laughs> Where the fuck do I live? What is going on here? <laughs> oh, the paint job is nice, though. I like this paint job. Really, uh, she really is about her butt now. I think like her whole life is about her butt. About her butt? Yeah. Since she got her new butt? And she must have. Like she, I've never seen her just like shoving her ass in front of time. <laughs> she, she'll spin every once in a while, but she's not sexualized again. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Dude. Disney princesses don't have giant Brazilian butt jobs. <laughs> There was three goddesses. So it was like my temple, and then we had a bathroom, and then we had Mia's temple, and then Grace. And 
it was really cool having all of our temples together and having the three yogi girls together and and then all of a sudden they posted one of these and after oh. three months you're kind of settled into an area so it's kind of traumatic having to move and then Santa Monica threw away my stuff right afterwards Santa Monica doesn't post these they just you know come and give you a verbal warning or I don't even think they have to do that and if your stuff is there the next day, it will get thrown away at like five a.m. Yeah, if you're sleeping at a king's house and you leave your nice stuff on the street, they, they take it. They don't want people to see. Yeah, so they want to throw it in the garbage. Like, I wouldn't leave my Looks temple like crap. right here or anywhere near the boardwalk uh, unless I knew that they had already done their sneak attacks. So tonight and tomorrow night, the temple will be here, and then. Um, Look, it look at that outfit too, by the way. What homeless yeah. person has that outfit? So, that's what's going right. She's stealing the Lululemon from the ladies that you know she stays with. She totally—it's like such a cosplay. It's like if you, if homeless people weren't like trying to okay, live day to day, the they'd be so offended by this. If they had other like their main problem solved in life where they could focus on stupid problems, they'd be so offended at this sneak attack under the fucking dumb darkness. white bitch coming down and Comments. cosplaying homeless. And they mm -hmm. and music Which is what it's, she's doing. It's so, it's really offensive if you think about it. She's pretending to be the wor like lowest part of society people with, like, you know, me I mean, she does have mental is issues, but people with such bad mental weapons. issues that they don't know right from wrong. She knows enough from right from wrong to like, you know, disregard it. Oh yeah. Treasures and trinkets. So I vacillate if she's just like a piece of shit or just rise. an ignorant piece of shit. A queen known as I think she's Daisy definitely an ignorant Dior, one. Which Daisy yeah. means the maker of which is more she's, positive. She's I guess. clueless. To yeah. Awaken everyone to let everyone know you're a superhero. I don't have the power, but all of us together have the power and knowledge. And I'm here. Like to I said, though, can you imagine Daisy at 65 or 70? Attacks. It's gonna. And we're going to use it, this divide. It's going to be ugly. To our Not advantage. her physically. To I unite. mean that too, but. In order to become unbreakable, you must first break. That's why I broke my foot. I'll we definitely need. One, I like to skateboard on concrete. And if you want to break bricks with fists, you break what with fists need? first. So you could be we need the Wawa -Wa musical. To break the brick. Yeah. You break the fist. So, in order. We need to a, first unite. We need we more movement divide. in her life, though. You know what I'm saying? And then after dividing, the it does story seem like isn't chaos, yet done. Like a caterpillar dividing. Right. You, but the stories go, could be. A butterfly, but it does seem like chaos. I need to see. An, I, I need a definitive ending. <laughs> I need like, a uh, body was found in the ocean, <laughs> and we go. Oh, there's Wawa. <laughs> no, that's too I mean, tragic. No, we could have it be like, she pretends homeless, and then all the homeless people find out that she's really not poor and homeless and then she just uses everyone and then they revolt against her mm, and then they yeah, kill her that's that's that's, that's, a, that's a that's a way to go um i think musical wise i think that you know we have her and perfect prince and then they break up enough and at the very end he comes back and, and rescues and saves her that's got to be the way it goes no he yeah, can't no. save her he's a mess yeah no then they move to alaska and he murders her Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, it's all three end with death. <laughs> you can't. You cannot cosplay on the beach in Venice like this forever with everyone dying around you of fentanyl poisoning, stabbings, uh, rob. Uh, it, you're. It, it's like she's riding a motorcycle without a helmet on backwards. Like eventually, she's gonna hit a rock. You know. Yeah. That's my own. That's that's what I'm waiting for. I'm just waiting for that rock. Then we got an ending to our show. Then we got a musical. <laughs> Well, don't wish that on her. We don't. I'm not wishing. We don't wish on that her. on her. No, but it's like you see a guy riding bas uh, backwards on a motorcycle next to you in the car, and you're like, "Well, that's gonna eventually turn out bad for him," you know? Yeah. So I don't wish it on him, but you just see it, and you know. So we just gotta trust. We're gonna get a butterfly. Divide and conquer, love and go. This is sort of racist right here. She's got people working on her float. Yeah, but, you know, she's nowhere <laughs> to be found, float. and she's got, you know, yeah. parade float. Hey, goddess. So, if we have to get out of Dodge, because I got a broken foot, can you guys steal me away? And I'll pretend like a superhero, and I'll do a speech, and you guys steal me away. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, can you wheel me away? She's got a broken foot. Uh, her foot is jumping, fine at this jumping point. Jumping up and down. I don't know about that. Her foot is fine. There's John, by the way. She's milking it. That's John. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We've seen John before. He's the mean one. Yeah. He calls her a cunt. <laughs> I like John. Well, you want to know where there's wheels too? On my wheelchair. I was going to take this apart and use these wheels too. Oh, um, like a hot rod. Remember we're doing Those aren't going to fit. That is more pressure on a foot than just walking on it. I know. <laughs> it's the stupidest thing I've ever fucking And she done. broke her freaking pinky toe, she said. And she jumps out of it. <laughs> She's full Will of shit. That was some Willy Wonka type shit. Like at the beginning of Willy Wonka when he's limping out of the thing and then flips over and does like a dance. <laughs> Scott says she has a sore camel toe. <laughs> This guy is a no nonsense guy. Look at this guy. Sing for you guys. <laughs> Dude, McAdams really loves rules and laws, though. But you don't like rules and laws. There's a divide in the department. You like being a superhero. You like being an empathy angel. I must. I would love to interview. God, the bottom of her feet. Oh my God, the bottom of her feet. Oh my God, the bottom of her feet. Um, and that is like, if you took a scrape of that black stuff and looked under it under a microscope and had it tested, it's like all the worst things on the planet. That is not even able to be washed off fully. Yeah. No, don't chase me. Why would I chase you? Why won't you chase me? All right, I'll chase you. I'll chase you. It's like, why'd I get out of my car? He's Where did he walk back to? and he's forth? Just, he's just trying to get away. Yeah. <laughs> if, has this guy ever struggled? Do you see his hair and his mustache? <laughs> Maybe she's got another disciple on the way. I can see this guy. <laughs> Have you ever been called a king? Have you ever had a massage? <laughs> A healing. Oh, my lasso of love compels me to only think about my love for you. Oh no. What about in Please the like down. police heads about her? Hello. <laughs> the Daisy <laughs> Locker talk at the police, uh, you know, when they uh, <laughs> lock out must be amazing. I bet. <laughs> so, I gotta go on the other side of the cop car. It is, it's like chess. This one's actually pretty sturdily made after like nine times. It's not as bad as the other ones. I don't think she made it. That's why. Somebody else probably did. <laughs> Skateboard cops. <laughs> <laughs> that guy looks like a skateboard cop. Mall Blart or Ball Mart, whatever the fuck. Paul Blart. Paul Blart, thank you. <laughs> Mall Blart. <laughs> I think I called him. I liked that movie. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll sit around and stare at tits for a little bit. His eyes are definitely on her chest. Look at it. She put her hands up even. <laughs> Pretend McAdams is chasing me. McAdams! Please! She brought her taser tape. Oh. She knows all the cops by name. It's so weird. McAdams is the chick. Oh, okay. Remember? Oh, yes. She's gonna ram the cop car. That'd be amazing. Broken foot. Oh. Yep, so broken. 
<laughs> Alright, I just have to be behind them. How does she keep her white pants so clean? <laughs> Let me get on here. <laughs> what does that guy have? A motorized bike? Yeah. I was like, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> And off she goes into the sunset. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, so they just sent her to Santa Monica, I see. Yeah. <laughs> That's totally safe. Poor joggers, like, fuck, can I jog right here? What are you guys doing? You're a nuisance. Oh, that guy had a big beard and small shorts. It's like a Stanley Kubrick shot now. Just a long... Oh, now our foot hurts. Crazy. All right. Sunday. Should we take a, a pee break? Uh, sure, yeah. It's been an hour, almost two hours. Shit, yeah. Two uh, hours, yeah. Do you have a video, pee video, or do I need to grab one? I can grab it. No, I think we didn't. We promised someone the poo video. Yeah, someone did mention the poo video. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, they mentioned the poo video. So if you can grab it, I only have one called Eat to Poo Poo. So I can't. I don't know if it. I do. I have the poo video. You have to have the poo video. Let me see. What's it called? The poo video? <laughs> I don't know. Poo video? I don't know. How is this not saved in our best ofs? <laughs> I can't. I don't have it. Did we call it poop video? Try it. Look for look up poop on nope, your computer. No poop. <laughs> Everyone look up poop on your computer. The uh, poop break. Poop break. Yeah. No. I might not I have know. it anymore. You had it I last time. I had a I, If you search poop on your computer, there's a lot more stuff than you would think. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it's not mine. It's like, oh, wait, I found it. Poop break. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah that's it no it's just the music though god damn it oh, <laughs> Fuck you. oh darn all right well now what i'm on a mission Hold on. okay uh it's we have it somewhere i just moved everything to the cloud um i know me I too to, it's yeah, terrible and so, and when you when you do that it's hard to find stuff again uh, can you play stuff know. directly from the cloud uh yes yes you can um, as long as it's the desktop version. Oh, this is now, now a boring phone call. Yes, as long as the desktop version. I know. Sorry, can, guys. Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, but yeah, I can't find the I can't find the poop one, which is upsetting because either. it's very That's funny. That's terrible. I th did you come and erase it off my computer? Uh-uh. I sure? would never. <laughs> okay. Well, how about the P one? Do you have the P one? Yeah. Uh, I have a P1 too, but if you want to use your P1. You can use your P1. It's the same, right? No, it's a different P1. It's toilet time. Oh, okay. You want to do toilet time? Sure. It's only a minute though, so you got to, everyone hustle. It's only no, that's not enough time. I need both of them. <laughs> oh, she's got to poop, y'all. So we need P a... dance. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, okay. I... You got it? Yeah. Right, awesome. Okay. All right, we'll see you in a few. I okay. think I need a piss break. I'll do the pee pee dance. I'll do the pee pee dance. I'll do the, I'll do the pee pee dance, pee pee dance. Yeah. Think I need a piss break. I think I think I need a piss break. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 yeah. I think I need a piss break. I do the pee pee dance. I do the, I do the pee pee dance. Yeah. I think I need a piss break. Oh, yeah. I do the pee pee dance. Oh, watch me now. Uh, 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 uh. I'll do the pee pee dance. Come on.
Come on, give it to me, that pee pee break. DJ, hook it up. Drop that beat. Yeah. I'll do the pee pee dance. I think I need a piss break. I think, I think, I think, I think I need a piss break. Yeah, yeah. Watch me now. PP breakdown, PP breakdown. Break it down, PP, yeah. I think I need a piss break. I think I need a piss break. I think, I think I need a piss break. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wash your hands. Don't be gross. I know you touched your pee pee. Did you touch your PP, folks? DJ Electrify? She's still, uh, hold on, let me come up up here. DJ Electrify? DJ Electrify? DJ Electrify? Okay, people, she's pooping. Everyone, we got a DJ Electrify pooping situation. Because that was clearly long enough to pee. Maybe she ran out of toilet paper. Is she stuck there with no toilet paper? DJ Electrify, are you okay? Did you fall in? Oh, she did fall in. Oh, no. <laughs> maybe she does. Scott, maybe she has the uh, narrow urethra that you're speaking of here. Maybe it's like a drip. Don't know. She, she, did you see her come? Oh, no, she's in the room. Hey. Oh, you're muted. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> what did you? Ha what happened? What nothing, did I miss? Uh, you missed nothing. Let's uh, let's get back to it. Back, <laughs> <laughs> back to it. Gates of Venice High. On Saturday and Sunday, we could fill the trucks up with the compost. And here's why: we're gonna make a beautiful <laughs> garden. No more coming cleaning up the trash. You're gonna be superheroes because you're not supposed to do what someone else tells you to. You guys are meant to be free. I want you to smoke weed with me. Don't you want to smoke weed with me and my friends? This is boring. Well, we could be taking right care now. of the grounds together. All of us taking care of the grounds in a community instead of this rat race. There's not that much work to do, you know? Having everyone work all day, keeping all of us separate so a few people can have way more than what they need, but we're the rat yeah, guys, why are you working when you can just get on a website and get rich guys to get your money? I mean, what the fuck are you doing, dummies? Yeah, duh. Regular folk, we just want each other to have a good food, to be able to learn what we want, to be able to, to go play where we want. And the market economy just puts restrictions in front of us, but we could cover this whole beach. And She's a hooker in the market economy. I don't know. Hot springs, watering holes. She loves the market economy. We could make it gorgeous. We could plant top shelf marijuana out here and meet the needs <laughs> of all of Los Angeles just on this beach. Anytime. Let's do it. Anytime. That's what's up. Yeah! Super squad! We're gonna do it. We're gonna keep it down. Okay, I won't tell anyone. He said any time. He said any time. Okay, guys, I know you're. I know you're really busy. So hold on one sec. I'm gonna take you to another dimension. Whoosh. Hi. We're in the sixth dimension. Sorry, Daisy. Oh, that? No, that's the third dimension. Just one second uh, in the sixth dimension. We're, we're trying to talk here. So and then we'll go to the okay. sixth we'll, dimension. We'll, let us finish. Then we'll I'll go. To I'll go to the sixth dimension. I'll come back to the third Got dimension it. in five minutes. About five or ten minutes. In ten minutes. <laughs> The sixth dimension means we are the architects of the reality. The third dimension means we snitch and get stitched. Das what's up. It means we evaluate. <laughs> and guess what, goddess, if I like you, I'm gonna tell you how gorgeous your hair is. I'll tell you everything good about you. Where and guess you? what? If I don't like my friend over here, I'm gonna tell my friend exactly what I don't like and everything that's wrong. Those are our evaluations. That's the third dimension. 
the fourth dimension is when we're waking up. And all of a sudden, we're like, yo, maybe we're the same spirit and stuff. Where are you? And that part is when we start to get empathetic and compassionate. And that's what's up. And then all... I, th I think you had to go back for another wipe. Oh, there you are. All there of a go. sudden, we move to the fourth dimension. And no, we're I gone. Eating. I needed a snack, not a wipe. <laughs> <laughs> You're eating? Okay. Yeah, we all thought you were, you know, uh, in the toilet. No, no, mm -mm. I right. needed some chips and salsa. I no, got the munchies. Oh my god! You're not taking a turd. You're creating one. Hey, oh, here we go. Yeah, -o. we're good. The fact that you need time and space and consciousness to create this shit, and we're the third part consciousness, means we did this. That part, goddess. The queens are the real gods. You're here to serve. Punk, oh, punk. Day, you are here to every serve. Day. You let the women do all the work. You sit down until we tell you what to do. You relax until the women call you. That part. That's what's up. In the sixth dimension of architects of reality. And there's 80% women and 20% men. Because we don't need that many of you. And that's good for you guys. Just like the Muslim religion said. There's eight women for every man. Oh, really, Daisy? <laughs> no. Either become a woman or have many. Or you could be one of my like king that. squads. Because I like to have a he hive. <laughs> that part. Yeah. The Hold on. We never, we never made a he hive T-shirt, so I'm putting that on the T-shirt list. Oh yes, so he hive, and yes. that's for sure. We need one. So far, we got tonight's episode. We got bio psycho social need, uh, and then last week we have the love barnacle, past my growth edge, independent tribe of core regulating nervous systems, taking the breath into your brain. And expand your vertebrae. Obviously, like she is just creating a whole new branch of our uh, our merch store. So thank you, Dave. Mm -hmm. Yes. So he hive will be added. So when we call enforcers, even though they're really handsome, I call cops because they're handsome and hunky. I can't call them. I don't call nine one one to call them. I. Hey, baby, booty bounce, I call them. I wasn't saying that to you guys, that's sexual <laughs> harassment. <laughs> sexual harassment, she says. I mean that in the most respectful way. You're so charming and charismatic, or you wouldn't show up on people's worst day. And you care a lot. And you guys act like you don't want to hug, but you're so sweet. You're like a walking hug. The great thing is about Daisy, here's one thing I will say. No cop ever gets talked to like this. Ever, ever, ever. Like... There, there ain't another person that talks to them like this because, like, they deal with rich Karens or poor people. Mm. Like, this is like a combination of a rich Karen and a, a, a homeless person. It's crazy. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Love you guys. Don't ever call these lovable sweethearts. You can resolve problems on your own. You're a superhero, a master of communication, a maker, a friend. You're popular. You're amicable. Yeah, but you could get through to people. I know you can because you've done it with me. When you talk sense and wisdom. You could do it. So these guys are smarter than you. You got to call them for help. The, the super squad. No, it's called snitching. Okay, Ken is friends with everyone on this beach, so if you get him in trouble, you're probably going to get beat up, and he's not going to get in trouble because he's a love king, and everyone's going to vouch for him. Do, do I look like I fight? Love I hug, king. but I can't stop my friends from kicking your ass, and that's what they do. They oh, just no. get stitches. Yo, I <laughs> warned you. All right. No snitch. She is fully gangster out here, calling out people for snitching. Like she's gonna have her. Oh, friends. she is not. She thinks she is though. No, I'm just saying she talks the game in front of the cops. Like oh, I'm gonna have my friend. I don't beat them if they beat. I don't do it. But if you end up beat, getting beaten up, that's on you for snitching. Like, mm -hmm. Okay, gangsta Daisy. Asta manala. Think about how lovable you are, and you will smile. <laughs> A do ba do do. Relax <laughs> your sphincter. <laughs> Relax your sphincter. She's doing all the hits right there. That's amazing. That was like all the hits. Are <laughs> A do ba bleed me. Breathe deeper. <laughs> The sphincter again. Anatomy once again. Yeah. <laughs> Let your intestines melt. 
Feel your tushy <laughs> bounce and flare. No. A soft sway. Bounce and flare. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, I'm gonna yes, it better be pink uh, and not brown. That, that sphincter. Part. Yes. Hey, thanks for the massage. I know all my energy centers. Oh, she gave a guy a massage. At the normal place. I'm Let me work on you. Uh oh. Bow, bow, bow. Look. I've been feeling tired. When's somebody gonna do you? What do you massage? I know, right? You? Um, soon. Yeah, walk on me. That would be amazing. Walk on, fucking walking on those titties. <laughs> pop them. They yeah. pop. Stay out of the way. Alley cat. That part. Cheshire cat. That part. <laughs> that part. Oh, one second you're there and then you're. Hold on. That part is a pretty good t shirt. <laughs> I'm writing it down. That part. So, that part? Yeah, so like when you say something that someone agrees with, like, oh, those cops are pieces of shit. That part. Oh, that part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so douchey. I love it. Oh, that part shirt. There we go. Douchey. Gone. For sure. Mm -hmm. Ask me what direction. I say this way, that way. Speaking nonsense. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh, hey, when we talk, DJ Electrify, when I say something sort of serious, important, can you just start twirling and singing? Like, <laughs> I just, it's well, it sure. would mean a lot to me. Yeah. Like, not pay attention and just be in your own mind somewhere. It's, she's great. Always. Of course. Yep. And learning and opening my That's what I usually do. You just don't know because I'm on the phone. <laughs> so he got beat up. He got beat up by the locals. Mm -hmm. Because. They were talking and things flew out of hand. I, I, I could use context. Yes. What's up, Corey? How are you, brother? Doing well. How are you? Good. Daisy. Daisy. You defeated the Matrix? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a few of us who will first wake up and will become the influencers, but we're all on our way. Hmm. You defeated the Matrix before it started invading our reality. Uh-oh. Well, we let's else. not let it take us out. Let's all defeat it and love engulf it. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hold on. God damn it. Love engulf it. Because <laughs> love engulfing isn't that. Uh, love engulfing is pretty good too. Love engulfing and, and love engulf it. They're both good. All right. Yeah, love we're, engulfing. We're gonna, we're gonna have a whole branch of Daisy shirts at our store. So once I get around to it. We have to get some good pictures of her though. Yeah, yeah, not from like 300 feet away because we're scared. I, there's millions of good pictures. Uh, as that uh, the place where you got the first video from, she's been on that so many times you can just screenshot like a thousand pictures. Yeah, I have a few, but they don't turn I out that well. They're sometimes a little blurry. We should pay for her to do a photo shoot. I mean, we use her enough. Like we just yes, we should <laughs> bring all the crazy outfits. You, oh my god! All right, we got to put this in plan. Uh, plan together. We're going to do a Daisy photo shoot. We're going to pay her to come in and do a photo shoot. She can bring whatever clothes she wants. And we're going to use the art for our YouTube page when we cover her. Perfect. All right. That's the plan. And she'll 100% do it. Where are we going to do this photo shoot? Not anywhere near here. Not anywhere near my place. <laughs> so send a fucking photographer out to wherever she is. And, you know. All right. I'll text her. She asked me to send pictures of myself yesterday and I didn't. <laughs> You know what's funny is if I, I like dressed up and like got a beard or something and pretended to be the photographer and filmed that, that would be pretty funny too. So yes, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna start playing with this now that I feel better. Uh, we're gonna start having some fun with this, I think. Okay, You're so good. lovable. Oh, la la. Think about how lovable you are, and. You are so lovable too. And that means that you get to love everyone as a scuba doo, a doodle doo. And you can boop <laughs> them on their nose and say, I love you, doodle doo. <laughs> so basically, um, I showed up and what's his face? She doesn't even know his name because of how he is with women, and 
I already had to talk to this person about how he is with the women. I think I'm going to change my vote, by the way. Uh, I think I'm going to go with number two uh, back in that game because, like, the, the crazy here is sort of <laughs> – uh, I, I don't want carry. I, I, I'm going to trade in carry for number two. Uh, just because, Are you serious? Yeah, because now that I'm seeing like, okay, well, she's normal looking, but she's crazy. Now I'm seeing Daisy with the crazy. Yeah, no, give me number two. Give me number two all day long. But it doesn't mean okay. that to get beat up. So basically, I told him, hey, Yoshi, could you help me get the rest of the stuff off the temple? Oh, you did. Thank you. You're amazing. Okay, so. We're going to take the temple. So basically, what happened? <laughs> the guy threw a glass bottle at Ken. From four feet away. And you can't hit Ken with the bottle. Remember Ken? Ken's yes. very high vibrational. So it's really hard to like... Can't hit it's him. hard for high vibrational people to hurt people, and it's hard to hurt high vibrational people, right? Because because high vibrational people don't want to hurt anyone, and then also because they don't want to hurt, they don't get hurt. So that's that's what happens. So this guy got beat up. I don't know who beat him up. I think a whole bunch of people beat him up. He's trying to get Ken arrested. I don't even think he's trying to get. I don't even think Ken like did anything to him. Um, Ken with the long beard, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the dude she's always doing the trash fucking dancing with. I mean, I don't no, know. Is that him? Anyways, here's my yeah. temple, you guys. No, I think that's a different and guy. view of the camera, oh, so I should probably push it. I can't keep up with all her kings. I mean, it's so There's so many. Back until I'm ready to go. But basically, they're trying to, like, get someone arrested. So he's trying to get Ken arrested. And you can't do that. Oh, I remember Ken. <laughs> he's, he's the old guy. His name is Ken. Okay. Snitches get yeah, stitches. exactly. So, <laughs> he just like yeah. stares into space so and like talks yeah, to the ants. Again. <laughs> My foot has you know, high, vib again. high vibrational person. <laughs> it broke exactly three weeks ago. Now I'm skateboarding. Okay. Please. <laughs> Do you have any weed? <laughs> yes. Oh, you have a tiny nut? Oh, I just found this this morning. Really? Yeah, yeah. Can I have some? Uh, oh, you don't even have enough. Time. You don't even have enough for a blunt. I got you. All right, I have enough for a little bit of a bong rip. Prince took all the bedding. And he took all the weed. <laughs> oh. So... Yo, can I have a little bit of water? Heard the water bong. This is where I actually like it. Bong's the only way to smoke weed. I like dabs. Way too much, way too high concentration for me. I just get headaches. Really? Yeah, they work like fine for me. Okay, yeah, so, you know, it's different in everyone. But, uh, like, the thing when I smoke a lot of weed, I just eventually get a headache. And so mm. that's why I like a bong rip, because it fucks you up, but it's, like, not enough to get you a headache. Like, or a gotcha. couple joints get you a headache, or pipe smoking, anywhere carcinogens are involved, headache. Um, dabs aren't I that about us, uh, Are they? I've had a, uh, what's that? Dabs aren't carcinogenic. I mean, it all is. It's all smoke, but no, no. Dabs. The problem is you're getting such a high concentration of the THC yeah. that it's like triple or quadruple the normal amount. So that's you know that's what brings on a headache more for me. So I, I just say give me a bong rip. That's why uh, Daisy's good with the bong rips. She's mm -hmm. got my vote for the bong rips. Bongs are cool. Pulling two. <laughs> What do you 
I'm okay. Want me to want me to freestyle with non gibberish? Uh, I got Cordes in the comments sending a character oh, tattoo. Me. It's going in my heart like a big love barnacle. Making me more powerful. It's the right stuff. It's the love inside. It's opening my heart. That's right, that's our cordis. Have big eyes that's full right. of surprise. Be more awestruck going through life. Feeling high vibes. It is so nice. And I want to be around people who inspire me and who are loving and lovable just like me. So I can be the best me. I can be and make life. I've seen two strong and funny men on two powerful women's shows today and i'm equally impressed i saw blind mike on lauren compton and then seeing cordis here with wah it's amazing stuff keep up the good work gentlemen i'm more wonderful for a lot of beans jumbo do you guys like my freestyle that's called yes. freestyle. now here's I the gibberish it. say more of our fans please it's a weed I'll be sober. You know, I'll be California sober, which means I only smoke weed. I'll be California sober six years, August 2nd. Someone, no, no, no. I didn't think she had a top on there. <laughs> I would have noticed that. This is what I look like with no makeup. Oh, except for your tattoo makeup. That's tattooed? Yeah. Her eyeliner and her lips and her eyebrows are tattooed, she said. She even has a curved top on the bong, which I like too. I'm getting those splashback. Right. I don't know what I'm doing after the show. They want me to wait, actually. You don't have somebody to smoke with that could uh, tune in. It's cleaner than mine, goddamn. That part. That was the rest of my bud. That part. <laughs> you know what I did? <coughs> Do you want to know what ultimately got me down here? <laughs> 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 I was setting up I was setting up next to Ken. Oh my god. And then that like Jesus guy started coming. You know who I'm talking about? Now he sits up right next to us. Oh Michael. <clears throat> so when he first started coming to the boardwalk. Wait, did she just sneeze in that thing and put it back in her bag? Yeah. Oh, she did. <laughs> No, Daisy. Dude, I didn't like him. My dad used to do that. He had a snot yeah, rag. Yeah, handkerchiefs or snot oh my, rags are yeah, so would, bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a memory. And there would be a, like a stack of them on the washer. And they were Ugh. he'd like pick them up and there was like hard as plates. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> they were like Gnarly. rigid. <laughs> That's great. God, I hope my dad was these and then do them all right well they, do the same, uh, technique. well they kept convert they would condemn them yeah, so i tried to walking. so i tried to like 86 him from the boardwalk i told him he wasn't allowed and that, that's just being another white person kicking someone out well so you so want to know what i did though saying, well hold on yoshi let me get yoshi. to my point <laughs> my point is i wasn't saying that to talk about him have you heard the saying, name yoshi before Mm hmm. Okay. I just catching up to it. I don't always catch all the new He's one of her kings. Okay. They sleep on the beach together a lot. She's an international party, huh? So I just moved down the boardwalk. He moved down with me. But I mean, now I'm cool with him. And I don't mind him. But he also isn't as annoying as before. I think a bunch of people yelled at him. Um, but I mean, that's what's up. Like, just move down the boardwalk. And guess what? Yeah, Next, all the other spaces are taken over. They have some people that. That's not true. No, it is. On the other side of Paul. Yeah, I don't know. I can't be on that side. 
the ta henna tattoo guy has space in between. Is this how you put on like, makeup uh, in the morning? Yeah, just yeah, talking to a uh, <laughs> street person on the right? I, I, you know, mm -hmm. know why I'm no. suggesting it? Just I want eyeing to it in your camera? To that area. Yeah, this probably looks good. I'd, I'd like to be closer to the south end of the boardwalk. Yeah. Like near the pier. There's a lot of people at the pier, you know. And there's a lot of perks. Right so, so, let's maybe we'll move down there for a little. It's a different vibe down there. It's not going to be as rough as over here. We're like in the heart of Venice right now. You're here, from here to the basket, from here to like the tennis court is going to be the vibe. And then when you get past the tennis court, it gets softer. I don't know. It's still Venice. Though. Hey, superhero. <laughs> Thriving. How about you? Oh, oh shit, they're arresting me. So make sure y'all brush your hair extra tight today if y'all trying to rock that. Are they arresting him? Also, RIP to Easy E on this day in 1995. He did pass away. So RIP to a legend, Ron That is true. They're arresting the guy over there. Uh huh. Who got beat up? The rest of Did the you guy hear guy. it? Love Venice. You didn't see the fight with Ken? What's with Ken beating people up now? He didn't used to do that. Yeah, he, did. he did? Yeah, especially people who do cycle babble. He would beat them up? Yeah, that guy was doing cycle babble all morning. So Ken beat him up? I guess so. Ken wanted to sleep. <laughs> and then they get a, and then they get arrested because they're high. <laughs> Oh, that was makeup with Daisy. That wasn't her whole makeup routine, but yeah, part of it. She's got to go <laughs> save this guy that's getting arrested now. <laughs> She's like, oh, I have a job. And they're just going to mm -hmm. tell me. And make have a purpose for that. What's his face saw it? Hey, superstar, good to see you. Look what I'm doing. Skateboarding. Three weeks since I broke it. Superheroes, don't do it! <laughs> oh, God. Don't handcuff. Hands are for high fives and fist bumps, not for handcuffs. <laughs> no metal bracelets, only jewelry. <laughs> not the metal bracelets that attach to each other. Super friends. Hey, I'm going to get you out of there. <laughs> I am going to because punishment doesn't help anyone. I'm going to cast a love spell. It's going to be a Care Bear stare. So I'm going to need conscious community members to assemble. It's time for a Care Bear stare. I see the twinkle in your eye. I see your lips curling up. That's a smile. I was going to Care Bear stare, you guys. Please free him. We're going to talk about that right now. We can't let that. Yes. Your yeah. energy, how it's changed. I know it's not a substance. Your whole energy changed. Well, no, we're just doing an investigation. You guys were so happy that. earlier. Yeah, okay. You were happy. And now look. Oh, look, your energy changed too. You were so happy earlier. He's going to be up there, Odia. Your shoulders, uh, shoulders went up a little. And you're a little no, more hunched. Yeah. Before you had a very proud oh, chest. Okay. <laughs> no, you're sad because you had to put him in prison. We I love it. She's real time doing body language expert work. I like that. I like mm -hmm. that lane. Yeah, I like that lane from Daisy. Not in prison without being in prison ourselves. I free you. Hey, I'm freeing you from being a prisoner. Release the prisoner. I can't let you guys do this. I'm going to have to Care Bear stare you. It's going to be a Care Bear stare. <laughs> <laughs> Care Bear! Stare! I will not move! Release him! You're too lovable! If you imprison him, that means you're an imprisoner. You can't be a jailer without being in jail. Autonomy, freedom, choice. These are our needs. 
when you in prison, not only do you take away the needs, now they can't play, they can't snuggle. When I was in jail, I was told I was not allowed to massage. That's right! Get out! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Don't go squat! Yes! <laughs> yeah! Let him go! Is she going to win this one too? Well, they're You're not letting him out? You yeah. are letting him out? So all that. You're so loving. Yeah. You guys care so much. Probably just detaining him while Thanks they get his information. Thanks for taking care of his stuff. That's really nice. They're searching his stuff. Now oh, okay. open the door. Okay, oh, no. take out those keys and unlock. If you unlock his keys, you unlock your heart. If you open the door, you open your heart. If you free the prisoner, you free yourself. All right, I'm casting a rock spell. Every circle is a, ring, is a thousand rainbows that <laughs> hug and kiss you. <laughs> tickle torture. Do you want a tickle torture? Do you want a little tickle? <laughs> Do you want is an air tickle, tickle torture assault? <laughs> like, if you tickle a cop, is that assault? That's a good okay, question. I no think answer. so. Okay, it's a love tornado. Free my friend. My love tornado compels you. You have a sphincters in your tushy. Relax. Your butt <laughs> she loves the word Get ready for that is called shame releasing from the blood dick. Yeah! Proud chest, superheroes. You're about to become glorious love crusader kings. Here to change the world by making <laughs> life more wonderful. <laughs> by identifying <laughs> universal needs underneath our sabotaging strategies, aka behaviors, and by putting our attention on the needs and not the behaviors and calling it a crime and punishing it. But if we put our attention on the needs, we can improve the strategies that people use to meet their needs. That's what's up. That's what's up. It's called trauma healing. That part is called making life more wonderful and learning and growing in a collaborative way. So really I just, if we, DJ Electrify, if we mm -hmm. could somehow get a hold of her, right? Like, talk mm -hmm. to her and be like, you are, so you have a specific talent, but like, put her in like a box like this. Like, we're in boxes, right? Do you think she could do a show? No. I mean, yeah, she could. It wouldn't be like on point or on topic, but yeah, I wouldn't think she like could. See, wouldn't you like to see the attempt? I'd like to see yes. her attempt a show. Just because I know how shows are done and then I know how her life is. And so I would love to see that translate into this. Mm -hmm. and so like, you know, uh, where she hosts, she has clips, she talks about, it would just be very funny. Like what she finds interesting, uh, her points. I, I, I would definitely watch the Daisy show. Would you watch the Daisy show? I would right. probably. So it, it would be a giant fucking train wreck, but like, this is all fun and good, but this is like that IRL stuff, right? Like the, you know, we're just watching her live her daily life. I want to see what she sits about or talks about when she sits down and like puts pen to paper, you know? Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's, that's just a thought I had. Please come. Not through the trunk. He does not come out that door. He comes out here. Scoot over here. They're going to let you out. Get ready. Your freedom's about to start. Boom. And a one and a two and a three. Release. The prisoner, boom, and a one, and a three, and a five, and a seven, and a cabin stare, <laughs> boom. Release the prisoners, you're too lovable. I see the twinkle in your eye like never before. You're here to make life wonderful. You're here to meet needs and attune to the frequencies in the nervous systems because you know that those feelings are attached to the universal needs. Come on, you guys. Look at those belts. They're covered in weapons and those gorgeous muscular chests. No one can see the beautiful definition of the hunkiness. The glorious handsome hunks are hidden by the bulletproof vest assist. What the fuck? I think they were actually doing that guy Can't a favor taking his Can't stuff Can't even feel a it. hug with that on. Mm -hmm. These people need hugs. They don't need cuffs. They don't need metal bracelets and stuff. They need fist bumps. Come on, let's fist bump. Come on, elbow bump. See, it puts you in a terrible mood. It puts you in a terrible mood. 
Look what imprisoning people does. It's not a raincoat. My super squad, you guys are so snuggly and sweet usually. You get in a terrible mood when you arrest people. This isn't you. Think about what's going on. You're arresting this homeless guy for beating up another homeless guy. He's asking you to find a raincoat that doesn't exist while a lady with big tits is running mm -hmm. around screaming gibberish at you. This is your job. <laughs> they don't pay him enough. All right. Oh, yeah. Come on, sweetheart. Look, you want to... There's a smile. Let him go. <laughs> yes. He's you just ignore her, up. though. You just block smile. that shit out. It's like a crying just baby. You just block oh, it out after a while, you know? We would fully do Daisy Box. Or Wabox. We're humans. We'll let all the animals Yes. We'll grow weed everywhere. So let's buy the mushrooms. You know, I've dumped mushrooms on the laps of cops before. Someone gave me pounds of mushrooms, so I was just handing them. Yes, Tiffany. Oh, okay, I love you. Great. I support you. <laughs> Jesus. Self incriminate much? Exactly. Never! Why would you do that? No! I can't! Uh, I'm trying to! Uh, give me the. the ah! Uh, you guys turned the electrocution on! She just did the nana. Oh, you guys turn the taser on. 30,000 volts. What? Holy shit. Hey, let him go. <laughs> Get back here. This is great. Ah! Let him go. Never. Release my run. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's your sound. That's the sound you make. <laughs> she, she made your sound. Oh, fuck. Fucked it up. Love you guys. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. I was being serious about releasing him, but I still love you. Yeah, it's all a game. Yeah, she just let it out. It's all a game My to her. That's better. Oh, still with the bare feet. I had a broken fifth metatarsal. Okay, we're gonna train. <laughs> we're gonna train. <laughs> okay, we're gonna train. Oh, this one. I killed it yesterday, and then I just finished the, the top. Yeah, there. that's who I thought Ken was, but that's not Ken. No, no, that's not Ken. Ken's that's the, the guy she, older yeah, guy. This, this is the guy she does the uh, trash dancing with. Yeah, that's the trash dancing. You want me to yoga. try to ride it? Okay. I'll do it a little, but my, my foot's still. He's yeah, also I'm the one go that told her to go get him a drink. Go get me a drink. And she went and got him a water. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah, it was one of the very first I like episodes. when the I like when the wheels are loose. Hey superstars. What is that? Good morning. Cool, I like it. Wonder what the A's for. So I always have an arm up, you guys. Yeah, I like it. I think it's like a yoga mat. And that's Daisy's life. She goes from screaming at the cops, helping, trying to help her friend, you know, to someone mm -hmm. just walks over and gives her a skateboard. Now she's skateboarding. Now it's like she is, if ADHD was like a person, you know, like a figurative, mm -hmm. literal person. Oh, good. How are you? Good, thank you. I, I like it. <laughs> We're gonna. You like it? I do. What do you think of the cushion? Um, I don't like the cushion because because I like to do everything like on wood, hard stuff. Well, that's what you know. She likes hard stuff. She likes oh, the metal. Know. That's that's yeah. my easier one. We're gonna do yoga in these garbage cans. <laughs> this one that. does. <laughs> Oh, we know where that, that idea came from. Fun. I know, I saw that. You get the leverage. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do it on this one. We're going to yoga fire. it. <laughs> kind of yoga fight. You do not want to know what has been on those fucking trash cans. Or oh, anything. it's so disgusting. They don't clean. People the spit on them. Out. Spit. And there's bars there. There's vomit. There's, pi there's people piss and shit on them. Yeah. That's, people that's just sit the, on those and poop in them. And that's the things that we can think of. Hey, superhero. 
There's yeah. all sorts of nastiness on there. I love you so much. Yeah. Uh, one of our friends just got arrested. The guy who is, he's annoying everyone. And he's like, it's kind of like vulgar to women a little bit. Oh, shit. So then he got beat up. And the cops came and called him off. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was, he was trying to snitch on the enforcers. And then he got, you know, you don't snitch. Yeah. So I was like, you're going to get beat Wait, up. So that was all snitch. performative, Daisy? Like, that was, the whole thing was performative. She didn't like that guy. She's glad the cops took him away. She was just pretending. DJ Electrify, you're muted. He got arrested. I know. Because, you know, he tried to snitch. Because I'm chewing these peeps. I'm addicted to these peeps. I can't stop eating them. <laughs> what, are, what are peeps? The little marshmallow candies for Easter. They're like oh. little chick chicks. Chick, peeps chick, candy. Chick. I'm Googling it. Oh, you're eating little Easter candies? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, they came out with these new flavors. They came out with cake batter and um, cotton candy. Oh, how's the cotton candy one? Uh, good. I'm addicted. The cake batter is even better. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, don't mute. We want to hear this munching on screen or on camera. Okay. <laughs> Very professional. Oh, no. But also, Ken was just enforcing because that guy's acting a fool. He me. kept everyone. I ate a yogurt like an hour ago, so it's all good. Went up all night. Oh, good. I just didn't like, eat before, before this, I so I have to like. Oh. I never see him like that because I guess during the daytime he's not like tweaking. No, she doesn't even know. She's just, he, he's the narc, and she was, she's so performative. I guess people mm-hmm. take at night for some reason. Yeah, mm-hmm. she doesn't even know his name. She just she's goes out there to show ready, herself off. Ready to trash can. So oh, they I take the garbage cans down. out. Okay, but that's cool. not where the dirtiness is. That's not the only no. place. It's all over the top of those things. People just like their ice cream cone just falls on there and it melts and like oh. so many birds shit on there eating food. Like it's full yeah. of bacteria and oh, you put it's your foul. Hand, oh, to put your hands on that is so fucking gross. Mm-hmm. I would syringes. Wouldn't, people. I with would not diseases. need to be touching that. Nope. 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 Gonna put her vagina right on it. <laughs> well, she's got pants in between. Trust me, what's on there? No pants can stop. <laughs> <laughs> what a metaphor, though, right? <laughs> Just <laughs> it's such a. Like, hey, where do you want to work out? Let's work out in the trash can. Well, we don't really value ourselves at all. Sure, let's go to the trash. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing yoga. He's literally just sitting in the trash. There's a bunch of other places to do yoga, people. You want, one, you want a shot? You want a shot? You want to try? People are like, no, dude. No, Nobody fun. touches that shit. <laughs> Except for them. Uh, she really found a, uh, a disturbed buddy here. Uh, a buddy cop. <laughs> Co- cohort. Yeah. Now when I ask you what was the best shot of the day, I'm not going to ask you because I already know what it was. We're working it today. That was a good shot. Thank you. Now, girl, <laughs> By the way, are we paying attention now, to... <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm totally watching her. What is she now, doing? She's a kook. <laughs> He just keeps falling in. Ugh. Glorious deep breath. Look how lovable we are. Oh my gosh, you guys are so lovable. It's like uh, the hey, Ma and Dad. I went to Venice and I saw uh, the craziest people tripping on acid today. You know that is the story here. Because these can't be normal people. I mean, these can't be people that live there and like live their lives down there or anything. They just have to be high as shit. Do you consider these people locals, the homeless people? Do they count? Some. Depends how long you lived here, you know? Like, there's some that I've seen every day for 20 years. I would consider them local. 
Mm-hmm. Daisy is not. Daisy is not a local. He's been around Daisy. for what, four years now? Yeah, but but a lot of her kings live in other cities so she don't you know she don't sleep on the street tries to I, pretend like I have, she does i have never she don't she doesn't i've never seen her ever sleep i've never seen a video where she's sleeping on the street she's never slept on the street she goes and sleeps at these dudes house and now she has a house and she wrangled away from perfect prince or whatever apartment so mm-hmm. she has her own place and she just cosplays out there, and when it gets cold or dangerous, she goes inside. Mm-hmm. So, I guess she's a local, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. God damn it, yeah. She might be more local than me. Uh, no. She's just more loud about it. This was you fucking You come crazy. and live here for free, and... Oh, hold on, you got to set this up. So, she this is the place she had with Perfect Prince, right? Correct. And now, now she is asking for people to come and stay with her. Women, goddesses only. So you men, sorry, you're not invited. But um, I actually contacted her about it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I did. Oh, hold on, where's my... Yeah, all right, let's see. Are you mentioned in here? You just joined the girl squad. So I don't know. I contacted okay. her after this. Look this. At this. Okay. Look at this beautiful garden. Look how beautiful that is. Is this our garden? It's, 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 it's not really your garden. It's just okay. the side of the house. So anyone can come. Here. Here's not a kitchen. That beautiful. So this is our, this is our space, where the goddesses can come indoors. But we're going to live at the beach. But this is basically where anyone can come, and be indoors. You could come and do your laundry. You could come and shower. It's not like a hangout spot, though. It's just a place where goddesses can come, shower, da 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 If we have overflow... It sounds like a wash your pussy spot. <laughs> She's mentioning showering four times. Come off Venice Beach and wash your pussy. Oh, goddesses are- Don't stay yep. here. Do not stay here. Don't hang out. <laughs> Get out after you wash your pussy <laughs> and your clothes. At the beach, and your clothes. Maybe like a few goddesses can be staying here at what at you know whatever time. So goddesses will sleep here, but it's not a place to stay. It's just a place like, oh, if you're tired of sleeping, it's very beach, confusing. You could come here at night. It's, it seems more rules than just like the city has. <laughs> so this is the space. <laughs> um, anyone can come if you're a woman. Okay. How about if you identify as a woman? Get my wig, baby. Um, men, go make your own temple. This is the goddess temple. So goddesses, look at look at this bathroom. This is for you. You could come here. There's a washer dryer. There's a dishwasher. There's a gourmet kitchen. Come and cook. So this could be a place where, like, let's say you want to go for dinner. You could come here. So, um, there's a phone number that you goddesses can reach out to. If you need a place to live and you want to join my goddess temple, free place to live, 310-433. All right, goddesses, what is it? Let me check. Okay, goddesses, so text 310-433-6496. 310-433-6496. 310-433-6496. So text that and um, yeah, and and then that person will be able to text you back because that person will be me. That's my new phone number. So 433-6496. This is a free place to live. Come. Goddesses, I want my squad. Girl squad! Goddess squad! Goddesses, if you could hear me. Let's make life more wonderful and beautiful. Men have been running it. But we- oh my god, this is why I do not want her to know where the fuck I live. She just yells at apartment buildings. Oh my god. We could start right. running things at the beach. Men, you guys could just relax. We'll let you know when we need you. See what happens when you guys run. 
Uh, I don't think she's going to be long for this apartment, yelling around like that, and then moving no. strange people in and advertising online. My guess is the landlord can probably find a lease breakage in there since, uh, you know, for sure. probably under Perfect Prince's name, by the way. See, yeah. I told you. I told you to Don't talk back to me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't, just because you have those gorgeous honky muscles and you're super beautiful inside and out does not mean that you get to have patriarchy rule the world. Man, you fucked up. So just relax. It's fine. It's okay to admit you made a mistake. Okay? The goddess is goddess. We're going to make it beautiful for you. We're going to make life so wonderful. Just relax. You're so lovable. Don't worry about it. You've got to worry about that. Okay? All right. Let's open it. Goddesses, oh my God. goddesses, goddesses, where are my goddesses at? I want all species. Could you imagine? I want goddesses. I'm horrified. Goddesses that are plants. I want goddesses that are rodents. I want all mammals, actually. Rodents? I want reptiles. I want sea friends. I want sky friends. I want all the goddesses. I want my girl squad. I want my girl squad. I want my girl squad. We're gonna run shit. So goddesses, you want a free place to stay? Are you homeless? Do you are you a superhero? Okay, check the box. Yes or no? Are you a superhero? Because if you're not a superhero, you're a human. Don't do that. I Hey, that's my thing. I do the don't do that. We'll get you. <laughs> Alright, here I come. That's it. I told you not to be a human. Alright, here I come. Oh, it's coming. It's gonna be a tickle. You don't want to tickle? Do you want to boop? Okay, it's gonna be a boop on the nose. I'm coming. I got an itch. A boop. A boop boop. I got you good tonight. Told you not to be a human. Be a superhero. Look within. You got gifts and talents. You're supposed to be making life wonderful. Why is it gonna be so boring and ugly outside? The answer is it doesn't. It doesn't have to be boring and ugly outside. Are you kidding me? You're crazy. We're too lovable for this. Way too lovable for this. Way too lovable. We want it to be gorgeous and beautiful. <laughs> we want to have fun all day. Oh, and we need a watering hole. So goddesses, the first thing we will do, we will plant the top. She really got that Michael Jackson looking nose going on in this light. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh. Like yesterday. Because the rainy season the was best, in February, uh, but we have a few more months, so we got to hurry. Plant the marijuana. We got to do the watering hole. I'm going to need a truck. and some She literally has her nose turned up at us right now. With a driver's really? license, she's willing to rent this <laughs> truck. Like a moving van, and we fill it from top to bottom with compost from Venice High School. It's not the gross kind, like poop and pee. It's, the, it's like sticks and leaves. Tons of bugs. Amazing. So we need to fill the whole truck with compost, take it to the beach. Every weekend between 12 and 3, Saturday, Sunday, we do this. That's when Venice... Wait, did she say she just wants to bring trucks full of bugs to the beach? <laughs> no, yep. that is not a plan. No. <laughs> no, I don't like that plan. <laughs> what? High school. Let's bring cockroaches and Goddesses bugs. unite. Mm. Goddesses unite. Help me make it beautiful and fun outside. It's boring and ugly. I'm sick and tired of it. Do you know how dangerous cars are? Cars are so <laughs> She's doing stand-up now. Hey, do you know how dangerous cars are? So dangerous. <laughs> you cannot walk out in the road without being weary. You oh, hey -o. I have a friend, Brewster Hero. We're on the comedy stylings of one. Daisy. He has another guy who builds Hila. all of this stuff with me. Well, I have a lot of friends who build with me, but Brewster Heroes in a lot of my videos. He has a daughter who's very loving and sweet, and he's an amazing, like, friend, father here. figure, like, dear person in my world. He's got four broken ribs. This guy's so bad. <laughs> no government, like, get off. This is like a bad friend who's abuse the power that we gave them so we take our power back and market economy and government well since they won't have power they'll be obsolete but they will be for the few not in market economy so for us regular folk and non-human 
We get to do as we please with need-based systems, honoring our willingness and capacity. It's called a dubba 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 not doing. <laughs> people who want to be stars, treasure hunters, um, people who want extravagance, like go ahead and do the market economy. You want games? Go for it. Treasure hunting? There you go. Trinkets? You know, who knows? It's not a universal need, so there you go. Entertainment, that is a universal need. No more fucking ads, that's the best part. So we get to relax. We get to find our meaning and purpose. We used to get to use our gifts and talents. A lot of times we have a need for rest, restoration, laying low. We get to do that too. Don't always gotta mobilize and hit go. Get to chillax, relax, love and go for ourselves, take care of our needs, attune to ourselves, feel wonderful, do as we please, that's what's up. Self-actualizing turns out to be awesome. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, we're free. No, 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 no. Oh, yay, we're free. No, no, no. I woke up in the world and it doesn't really work. And I found out about it and now I'm getting creative and conscious. No, no, no. La, 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 la. Amazing. What's the answer? God is true, is it you? Please be Cordis. Yes. <gasps> Diana! <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy. Did um, Jeff send you my number? He did. How did you get a different phone or what did you do? Yeah, I went down to social services, got a phone, now I got a phone. Um, just... I'm going to end my live stream right now. Diana's an amazing queen, and she's the only person I talk to every day. And I was actually going to post a live stream, Diana, that was like, Diana, call me. I got a phone and put my phone number. <laughs> so, but I'm saying that on live stream so everyone knows it. But literally, I was like, I should just, because you were the only one who I was like, oh, I want to call Diana. I was like, I should just, as a joke, put it in the title. <laughs> But I was going to call you Queen Goddess Diana to honor you. Aww. All right. Well, I'm going to end the live stream. Love and release you guys. <laughs> we are released. Thank and God. Oh, thank God. Everyone wants I to know, know about my plastic surgery. Jeez. I've done all the plastic surgery in the world and none of the plastic surgery in the world. And everything you say about me is true. And especially the funny stuff. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. See, she might have a sense of humor. She actually might have a sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, ladies and gentlemen. This week, we got biocycle social need, hee hive, that part, and love engulfing. And we need love barnacles, too. Oh, well, I got the other ones coming, too, yeah. So, <laughs> the previous ones we got. Love Those barnacle. are the love barnacles. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, they look past their growth edge. No, oh, they do. They're so cute, though. They need to expand their vertebrae. I don't know what any of it means, but thank you, Daisy. Uh, DJ Electrify. Yes. Turn on your camera. I'm here. Okay, I'll turn on mine, too. Okay. Uh, computer hell is fun. Uh, but hey, well, that guess, was fun. Yes, but guess what? We did it. You know, when I was in the hospital not so long ago, I didn't think this would happen, and here we are, and we're doing it. So congratulations on a great show. Uh, Thank you can... so much for being here and helping me. Of course. And you're, uh, how can people find you now that you have one email or one website to go to? How? What is that website? DJElectrify.com. hey -oh! That's right, ladies and gentlemen. DJElectrify.com for all your titty shopping needs. Yes. Yes. And then go to HackRideTheDemon.com for your demon shopping needs. And make sure you go okay. to BlindMike.net. Uh, we love him and support him. Make sure you go watch him on the Lauren Compton show on YMH Studios. Uh, congratulations. Yes. I mean, we're telling 10 people to go watch a show that's like 100,000 views, so that doesn't really make it sense. It was amazing. The show was, was amazing. It was. He, like, he He's quite the player, Blind Mike. And so, he a is. game recognized game. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> did, you get, did you get wet uh, watching that, DJ Alex? Of course. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> all right, let me, uh, let me just pull in the outro here. Forgot to do that. Uh, but everyone, I would just like to say one more time, a huge thanks to DJ Electra for seeing me through 
what we're going to call the troubles from now on uh, because uh, uh, it nearly it capsized everything we were doing over here. And mm-hmm. so uh, a partner through and through, I honestly, like after Krista left, I didn't know uh, what was going to happen. I don't know if I'd ever find anyone that could be like a partner in doing this. And, and the fact that you stepped into that role and then just have been a home run from day one is amazing. And not only that, you're a great friend. Anyone who calls you a friend, value this woman uh and go follow her goddamn sites please go follow her youtube <laughs> go follow her patreon because uh she's gonna be lapping me here soon and so uh it'll, it'll you'll be like first on the boat when all the millions of people other people come i don't know about all that but have you seen your tits oh my god <laughs> all right everyone uh do you have a, 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 see him right show? now do you have oh hey <laughs> i can't god damn it all right uh, do you have anything to say goodbye? This is your last words. I love and release you. You love and release me. We are Thanks released, Thanks for folks. watching Catch 22. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Wish you would really and release me. And go to like hackridethedemon.com mm. to get everything Hackride related. Get links to the Hackride Studios Patreon and the Cash App. Also, my YouTube channel is at DJ Electrify. And my PayPal is at DJ Electrify as well.